All right, welcome back. Primarily speaking, the show where we like to talk shit and give our opinions on all different type of topics, from sports to entertainment, politics, community, and a bunch of random shit at the same time. I am your host with the most man with the gas, Mister Popping Two Quarters. Let me get in that ass. It is your boy T Prime, and Azul to the twenty-five. That's what I'm talking about, and you know I am the total package, Rex Devro, coming to you loud and live. That's what we do. Dysfun- dynamic dysfunction is what we do here, and I'm going ahead and let it go on to my dog right now. That's right. It's Hannibal Vanderbilt, your down south Georgia boy representative in this place to be, bringing you nothing but the facts and the cold hard truth, baby. Let's go ahead and get this show rolling because we got some good shit for you today. I'm going to kick it back to T Prime. Go ahead and let that thing sizzle on you. Yes, sir. DSGB. I see you. I see you. I'm bringing it back. Bringing it back, man. I feel like y'all boy had a good week. How's everybody week been? Ah, uh, shitty. Oh, yeah, wow. Week, <laughs> That's harsh. Listen, listen <laughs> ban subway, dog. Boycott subway. Do whatever you need to do to subway, dog. They food just not the same no more. It's not. Oh, yeah. You see, you had a um, little, 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 um, little issue. Yeah, a little issue with subway, man. They, they'll be hearing from my lawyers. <laughs> yeah, food poisoning. <laughs> Damn. I tell you, I tell you, it's not food poisoning, man. That's just how bad their food is. Yeah, that's what I heard, man, lately. It, it is subpar right now. I don't know what happened, but the quality is way down. Hey, man, go ahead and go, you got to go ahead and go go to Firehouse, dog. There you go. There you go. Yep. Spend that little extra change, get your money's worth. Jimmy John's, mm-hmm. even Witch Witch, man. Try them, please, man. Leave Subway alone. Yeah. Yep. They not played, they, played themselves. They out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. How about you, Hannibal? How's your week been, sir? Man, the week, it's been straight. Work been a little crazy. I mean, you know, people go ahead and they come in there and they, uh, you're they supposed to be training. And then you, you're you not getting trained like you're supposed to get trained. Mm. So I just seen that firsthand where someone in the workspace was not trained how they were supposed to be trained. And then they literally tried to drop the blame on this young lady. Oh, she tried to... <laughs> Oh. But yeah, for something else that she didn't have nothing to do with at work. Because she wasn't trained on it. Yeah, because she wasn't trained on She's the newest person. So they just tried to drop the blame on her. But they can't drop the blame on her because it's from when they were, you know, doing the job. When they were doing the timekeeping. Yep. Yeah, Lonzy, that's how people are. Lonzy, my fault. I don't care who else's fault it is. <laughs> Bro, we had to go in there. They got this thing where they had people put in leave and everything after they didn't say you come back like Monday, I got to do corrective time calls for people. It's just, you know, it's all jacked up. And you trying to reach out to people, tell them, put their time in, time in. Corrective time calls do by Tuesday mm-hmm. um, at noon. So you trying to get everybody to get their time in, get the time in, get the time in. This person might not have been out, might have been on Friday, now they out Monday. You hoping they come back to work, you know what I'm saying, on oh, doggone Tuesday, or they off on Fridays. And they, they called out on Monday. You're like, man, what the fuck, man? You but know, they don't man, get paid. Y'all, y'all system don't just take whatever time is in there. That's just what it is. It does, but once you go ahead and submit it, and they already put it in, after that, you got to go back and do a corrective one. Oh, yes. We don't, I don't have that problem. Man, that problem. Shit's stupid. <laughs> we ain't even supposed to be that, that involved with the time process anyway. Mm. But that's how they got shit going. So that's why I have this red cup. That Throw it up. like uh, <laughs> a lot of irresponsibility. Okay. Um, yeah. It'll be real short of the account on me. No pay. No pay. No pay. <laughs> Zero no hours. Pay. I, you can't be like, and you know what's funny? I'm like that. Like, I, 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 done sent you a, I done sent you a reminder to put your time in. Now, and I sent you another reminder, a hey, following up, but this time I done added your supervisor home there. Now, I'm sending stuff up, and I'm trying to get you. I ain't got a contact with you yet. A wall. Yeah, yeah, you done. A wall. Or you the leave without pay. A wall. A wall. Because I ain't got to. I ain't got to do that. You a wall. Can I check for your money too? Oh yeah, you short. Fuck that shit. You know what I'm saying? Leave without pay the same thing, but a wall look bad. You know what I'm saying? You don't put the time in. I wish. That's why I wish my old nurse manager was the person that I work for right now, because. She bought a book just like that. You don't put your time in, a wall. No discussion. And the discussion, like I say, lack uh, irresponsibility. Be an adult. Be on your You're shit. Adult. That's your money, yeah. You better watch your money. Shit. 
Why you got no time for that? Yeah. Um. Yeah. I, my my week, man, been pretty kind of lackluster. Ain't nothing. Uh, had one of them days, you know, you, slow moving, and then at the last thirty minutes of the day or hour of the day, everything just happening all at once and shit like that. That's all my week, but pretty much, man. Bunch of shit at the last minute. But, uh, a lot of procrastinating, huh? A lot of procrastinating. That's what that sound like. I got to get my favorite crabs yesterday, but that's the most okay. exciting thing that happened to me all week. And <laughs> now my weekend was good. My weekend was good. It was fun feeling. Good week. Jolly. Yeah, it was a jolly old weekend. <laughs> you <say> jolly. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I gotta agree. I had a pretty good weekend too with the youngsters. You know, my daughter had her graduation party. That's uh, okay. That's what's up. Yeah, you know, I got to meet the boyfriend, you know, put him in line, let him know Uh-oh. what time it is. He joining the family. He will we be gotta, a singleton. We got to do a uh, Will and Martin or... We, wait, wait, yeah. wait, what? You say he's well, kind of the kinda, kinda, family. Yeah, yeah, he, he got to understand he already in, you know, because she like him like that, so I let oh, him know. You can't mess she, up. But she about to be, she engaged or some shit. I said, what? No, sir. No, sir. That No, because he would have been dead. <laughs> he would have been dead <laughs> yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, we yeah we waiting on that. We definitely waiting hey, on that. If you need a hitman, um, I know a guy. Um, Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We will talk about that off. We will talk about okay, that off. Okay, 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 okay. We'll talk about that on full cool mics. I know a guy. I know a guy. <laughs> that knows a guy. That knows a guy. <laughs> you need boyfriends now, man. I ain't did yet. I can't. I ain't ready for that kind of shit. You might as well get I asked my oldest daughter, like, yo, you 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 talking to somebody, huh? Y'all talking on the phone or whatever. Y'all got somebody that like you, you like them? What what's up? No, sir. I asked my middle daughter that shit. I was I was scared because <laughs> you scared her to see Yeah, yeah, because yeah, she was <laughs> she was very willing to tell me that she had a crush on somebody and all this shit. I was like, oh man, I already Said I'm not gonna get mad. You can come talk to me about anything. So I guess I can't get mad at none of this shit. Now I'm like, okay. Yeah. You rethinking yeah. that shit now? That's what it is. Yeah, yeah. No, well, <laughs> well, the message is already out there, and I'm happy to get the information. Man. I'm just, I just wonder what that oldest one had, and she up to something. Mm. You wanna tell me? <laughs> yeah, man. Hey, don't be scared to tell me. I'm, I'm, I'm too nervous about that kind of stuff. I don't think I'm prepared, mentally prepared to accept that yet. I just can't do it yet. That's my baby girl. Last time I asked her about if she liked boys or something, she was like, boys? Ew. I'm like, yes. <laughs> yeah. How long ago that been? You gotta ask How long ago that been? Like a year or so ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm how old your, how your year, sir. <laughs> Ten. Oh, you, you got time, brother. You got time. You got time. No. You got time. <laughs> I'm savoring it. I'm savoring this time. No, TikTok. my oldest TikTok. will be 16 <laughs> in October. <laughs> Gonna be 16 in October. In October. You know, I just think back. My to, middle daughter. You know, I've been doing will be this. 14 in February. Yeah, go ahead and say that, Prime. Think about the things you've been doing at 16. Yeah. 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 So think about Hard. all of your. Think about all of your days as a player. Just, just think about it. All the savage moments you had. Ooh, wee. It's those same vicious predators. <laughs> now I ain't gonna say predators. I ain't gonna say vicious predators because that implies other things. But it's those same knucklehead players out there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's out there waiting, you yeah. know, lurking. Hot in the yeah, pants. Yeah. Like boys say hot in the pants. There's a bunch of horny toads. Yeah. 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 You, know why? To <laughs> you know why? Because they want some. That's why. Just like yeah. us back then. <laughs> Ooh, and it's just, hey, the shit is scary. You know what I'm hey. saying? It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's scary. We you gotta do. think about it. What do you do? You come home early for work and you, your daughter at home with somebody now. She got a boy now. Shooting. 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 Now look, that's anybody. See, I don't have any I don't have any uh boys. So, you know, even if I was to come home and my son just had a girl in the house, nigga, I'm gonna lose my motherfucking mind. What the fuck is you doing? You pay bills in this bitch? You get the fuck out of here. Get, get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. Call your parents. And get the fuck out. Hell yeah, boy or girl, it doesn't matter. My son, I'm yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Have somebody in my goddamn house in the middle of the day. Like, at any point, I ain't home. Oh, all hell gonna break loose. All hell gonna break loose. Rex, you said you gonna you start you gonna start shooting. 
Buckshot, 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 buckshot. <laughs> Damn, you ain't got no bird shot in that. No dog. bird you shot. No bird. No, uh-uh. no bird shot for that one name. Buckshot out the uh, from the start. <laughs> buck, 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 buck. Hey man, that young man just like you was. <laughs> that was yeah, together. That, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Ooh, exactly. I, I, hey, I would see rage. I would have rage in my eyes. But my daughter, if I was my daughter, I had rage in my eyes. I I, I want to hurt somebody. Yeah. At least I was nice about it when I did it. I mean, I was I was too sad. I, I, don't I know. got caught one time um, with uh, my then girlfriend um, house. Uh, I think her her mama caught us. I was trying to hide behind the door. <laughs> <laughs> this is not, this is not I know exactly what story he talk about. <laughs> hey, hey hello, uh, y'all been doing the nasty? Y- yeah, yeah, of course. Oh. <laughs> I ain't come over there for nothing. <laughs> well, I, ain't yeah, never get, I ain't never get caught. I ain't never get caught. Ooh, bad boy. Her mama cussed me out so bad. She ain't touched me or nothing like that, but she cussed me out, boy. Her mama ain't didn't like me for shit, boy. Damn. I wouldn't like you either. <laughs> she didn't like me before that, but she really hey, didn't like did me she, after that. Hey, did she look down first? Huh? Did she look down first? No, no, she didn't catch in the middle of the act. No, she didn't catch in the middle of the act. My bad. Oh, you had clothes on? Yeah, I had clothes on. I had clothes on. Oh, okay. I know my homeboy got you. She had stay upstairs so you could hear when somebody coming in. So, you know, you get dressed, you know, you're like, oh, shit, what the fuck? I'm going to hide that shit. You ain't really got no place to hide. Oh, Lord. <laughs> One thing about them apartments on the drive, it did give you time to get straight. Give you no some, matter uh, what. It I could did give you time to get straight, though. That's right. Thank you fast enough, man. <laughs> <laughs> long time ago. It happened a long, long time ago. That should happen like 25 years ago or some shit like that. Long yeah. time. I've been close, but never caught. Yeah, I haven't caught. Once, twice, actually. So I'm caught twice. <laughs> <laughs> How you get caught twice, nigga? Same girl, same house. <laughs> I should have told him something. I should have told him something right there. Oh man, you a band. And every time she passes, she look at you now. She probably still don't like you. She probably don't. I wouldn't believe her. Oh, no, as a matter of fact, she passed away some years ago. But, oh, um, those are good times. Those were good times, man. Yeah, I, I know how little boys is, so I, I, I that's why I ain't ready, man. Y'all boy good. Like y'all got teenage daughters. Ah. I ain't prepared for that shit. You mean hey. we, good? we still got to go through that same stuff? What are you talking about? Y'all done had to go over the initial coming into it. Like, now you just there. You so, just... let me let me tell you something that my dad, I don't know how, did you talk to your daughter about anything? No. I talked <laughs> to my daughter about, I talked to my daughter about it, and I, first I talked to my dad. I was like, yo, you know, how did you approach my sister when you talked to her? Mm-hmm. He was like, the same way I approached you. And I thought about how he approached me. I was like, whoa. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was like, you just kept it real like that? And he was like, yeah. Kept it real, just like that. So when I talked to my daughter, I kept it real. And every time I talk to her, I'm asking the same questions. Like, yo, you know, what's going on? You know you can talk to me about anything. So if you got anything going on, I don't, I don't care. You know what I'm saying? And all the other stuff. I say, ask her how she feel about all the gay stuff and all the other stuff. You know what I'm saying? Just, just trying to get an understanding where her head at. Um, so talk to her. You already talked to all of them about that? Or Not they only. She ain't ready for that. Oh, just the oldest one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, uh, Naomi's still innocent, okay? Yeah. All right? she's, still, yeah. she's still innocent. She's yeah, still yeah. daddy's baby right now. That's my you thing. Know, my, my daughter's 10, and I just don't feel comfortable me talking to her about that and i'm her, her mama may have spoken to her i do not know but um i'm gonna I'm tell you something did you talk to your son about it yeah i talked to my son about my son all right all right so crazy. it's important that the kids get both sides of the coin because they need to both know that's just my that's just my feelings on it and you know what i'm saying i talked to my daughter my middle daughter i talked to her to the to this thing and she just let me know when she didn't want to really talk about something. And I just went, all right, you don't want to talk about it now? Okay, cool. We'll just move on to talk about uh, something else. I'll move to another topic and just talk about it. But I still like talk to her about it and give her my perspective on things so she can hear a man's side also. So she can get both ways of thinking. I don't want my daughters going out there in the world unequipped. So you got to know how a man think too. So yeah, I'm gonna give her the real when she's ready for that conversation. I don't no, 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 no. Ready for that? So you don't wait for her to come. She will be ready. 
no, no, you're no, gonna no, have no, to go not, to her. Not that waiting for her to come to me. I just don't think at ten. At, oh hell no! I don't think hell she's no. Ready hell to no. have that conversation yet, or me to tell 11, her? I want to tell her about niggas just yet. <laughs> sixth grade. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Middle school. Do middle it. school is a good time. Middle school. What about you, Ray? What about middle you? School. How'd you ain't have nobody, that? Ain't nobody, ain't nobody been rocking up in um, elementary school? Hey. I was. I've been getting, I've been getting exactly. hard in elementary school. I've been trying exactly. to rub the booty, you know. I'm trying exactly. to dance and like loop dancers and shit. Like, I'm trying to, you pop. See, and y'all know what mine, you know, mine, my, my, my kid's older. So, of course, yeah, yeah, I've been talking to them for a while about it. You know. Even in middle school? I mean, in elementary school? Yeah, around about the nine, nine to ten when they start looking at boys and girls and stuff. And you can tell when they start looking. Because all you yeah, got to do is go to like the little board shows and all that, that stuff. And yeah, you 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 a peeper. You a peeper. But for me, I know I had to start because I know how I've been when I've been that young. I'm, a, you know, just out there, not getting the right info or whatever. Just like how we've been talking one time, Prime, a rattle the ship, you know. But for me, I had to let them boy know early, you know, to get them boy equipped and ready because... I ain't want them to be out here like how I was getting, you know, sexually active at an early age and stuff like that or whatever. Yes. Yeah, so it's scary. Because it's emotional, man. Yeah. And and at that age, they can't deal with them type of emotions. They don't mm -hmm. even know. Hey, dumb and um, dumb yeah, yeah, and powerless. <laughs> <laughs> dumb and powerless. Dumb and powerless. You don't even know. Cause I say you're powerless because you don't even know what type of power you have. Mm -hmm. Right, they don't. Yeah, exactly. You're the nail on the head, dog. For real. Nah, look at the I effects trust. of taking a girl virginity. I look, at, look at the effects of that shit. I trust my wife to, cause you know, I think from what I understand, my wife has some good um, advice in that type of area. I do trust my wife to pass on that same type of advice to her. But you know, once once we get there, like like you say, Rex, uh, like you know, middle school, or uh, that's what you said, um, uh, Hannibal, middle school. Um, yeah, I'm going to jump in there and say, hey, you know, watch out for this, watch out for that, you know, this is how dudes are, you know, don't, don't take nothing from nobody, like, you know what I mean, don't, don't feel hey, like you owe nobody you, nothing. Want me to tell you something? What? Keep that, keep that part brief, because he's not going to take it all in. Best all right. advice that, uh, I think I get, I've given all of my daughters is just because someone offers you something doesn't mean you have to take it. And just because you do take it and get it doesn't mean you have to give them anything back. Good, I say you remember that. You remember that. I say, I say if some dumb I say like I hate that I hate to say it like that. I say, but if somebody wanna try to bribe you or something like that, hey, you ain't gotta give them nothing back. And, and, and matter of fact, if it's like that and it'll make you that uncomfortable, give it back to them. Don't take it. You know what I'm saying? I, I, that, that's that's what I told that's what I've told all my you broke up. You broke up on me, man. Hold on, hold on. What happened? Make people work for the the attention that um that they that they want from you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Not bribe you with money and all this other bullshit, man. Fuck that. Money is nothing. You I try to say to my daughter, like anything you anything you want or trying to do, you figure out a way to do it yourself. You know what I'm saying? Don't look for somebody to always give you something you just figure out how to do yourself she's very handy yeah. she's very um yeah. capable of doing stuff on her own so you yeah. know work hard focus on your goals don't get sidetracked by other i'm working with my oldest on that she got a little something going on so i had to work with her and had to let her know like yo 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 <clears throat> you, you don't do stuff for yourself you don't do stuff for other people you do it for yourself yes i was like you, you don't do, you don't make your decisions on what someone else. I said, you're in, you'll find yourself stuck in a place uh, and unhappy in, with your decision because you didn't do it for yourself. You did it at the account of someone else. And I said, I don't never want you to fall into that trap. Yeah, that's good advice. Good advice, man. Um, Rex, you got anything else on that? I do not. All I know is kids need to keep it in their pants until they're 21. <laughs> Until they're 21, that damn. <laughs> Until they're 21, would that happen? That? Probably not. That? It will not. It will not. We know. All right, know. yeah, boy. Let's uh, let's get the show rolling. You know, let's get the show it's rolling. Already rolling. Uh, let's start off with our uh random news today. Um, you uh hear about Fair Wayne Bryant, the 
guy that was sentenced to life in prison um, for stealing the Clippers. We talked about it either last show or the show before. I think it was last show. Um, yeah, he um, he is getting he may be getting paroled. I think they're going to the, the parole review board or whatever it's called. I think they're going to take a look at his uh, case and um, offer him an opportunity for parole. And um, I think that's dope, man. I think that's a good thing. I mean, some kind of relief in in some sense since them boy don't even want to. They, they... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Time on, time on. Parole, man. Let that man free. Oh well, they already the Supreme Court already said they're not reducing his time. Yeah. So unfortunately, I don't think that's on the on the table. They they no. Ruled, damn they, no, they ain't that conviction gonna stand? That's right. Um, yeah. of saying that, uh, his time was excessive. They don't believe that his time was. It was a seven to one vote or six to one vote to that the sentencing was fair, even though they give the man life now. And they say it was because of his uh, record. He had, he had been in and out of jail and all this other shit. That shit don't, I mean, the man, it was some uh, theft of some fucking clippers. It wasn't even grand larceny. Right. You know what I'm saying? The man don't deserve life in prison for that. But Wow. Him, his sentence being reduced is a no-go. But he, do get, he may get an opportunity for parole soon. Damn, man. Yeah, and that's so he still got a with how that's he may get an opportunity at parole. That means them boy might get doing like the Shawshank Redemption. Denied. Bam. Go back to your cell. Could very well yeah. be, man. Huh. I hope my man get the parole stroll. I hope so you too. Know? They, they, they the record. He had a lot of yeah. arrests. He had uh armed robbery. Um there was a lot of robbery, and I think one of them was like a bad check or some shit like that. Um, so like that. this basically was a judge that said, if I ever see you in my courtroom again, after that last time, I'm going to get your ass, I'm going to put your ass away for the rest of your life. And he meant that shit. That's still excessive. Even, even if that's what you coming out your mouth with, that's excessive. Give somebody life for stealing. Clippers. Something. It, would not even yeah. it wasn't even a fucking felony, from what I understand. No, it wasn't a felony. But that's a lot of times to be arrested and keep getting out. You got to do some time, but not life, goddamn it. Yeah, I mean, give him 20 years, shit. But life, goddamn. Shit, but, you know, he, he may get that possibility. So that's that's some good. He been thing. locked up for... 97? 10? 27? 97. This nigga been so, more than 20 years. Oh, 20, oh, oh yeah, 23 years. 23 mm -hmm. years for this crime what? <laughs> so far. Damn. Shit, well, I know one thing with you. Commit murder and still get out of jail in less time than that. Yeah. Hey, old girl that killed um a man that walked into the apartment. She trying to get a re early release. I, and she I got heard more, about that. She got less time than what he got. I heard about that shit. Yeah. And you know what I'm saying? She only got ten years at her initial sentencing, and she trying to get a a reduced sentence. Bitch, sit your ass down. <laughs> White people. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Privilege. Why, guys? Man, what else? What else we got, man? On the damn. Um, man? you had something. You had something else for a random news, sir. Oh yeah. So, uh, this is gonna kind of lead into uh, our entertainment topic. So, uh, Segway. It, it, it says, uh, I got a question to propose to uh, the fellas of primarily speaking. Okay. Will you go to the movies when they open? Or are you on the uh, bandwagon of having uh, theaters release like uh, Marvel's going to release uh, Black Widow? Are y'all cool with that going to video on demand? And how much do you think the video on demand purchase should be? Uh, Rex, you go first. I'm so glad you said me first, dog. $15 <laughs> off top. Send it home. I'm not going back to the movie theaters. You know why? Because the movie theaters are trash now. You got people bringing in babies when they know they should have babysitters. <laughs> they enjoy, they, they, they just ruined the whole environment for me, dog. Everything. So I'm going to stay at home with my big TV, my video on demand, and wherever movies come out, that's what I'm going to do. Um, I agree with that. I um I would prefer to watch movies at home so I can recline in my own shit and, and have my own drinks and food and shit. I ain't got to pay them high ass concession prices and kick back and watch a movie at home. I'm all for that. And I pay, I pay twenty dollars for the movie. You know what I mean? I'm paying fucking twenty dollars to go to the theater anyway. I to be at home. I'll pay twenty dollars to stay at home. I mean, uh, don't get me wrong. 
I like our movie theaters. Um, our movie theater got the little reclining seats. You got your little thing. It's just dope, but I'm more comfortable at home when I watch movies. You know, I can fall asleep, wake back up, rewind, go back to the park. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you done, you done, done get that plane ticket. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Exactly. That's exactly. right. What about you? All right, man. I'm cool uh, with paying about 15 to 20 uh, for a movie. Because when you think about it, me, I always use my veteran discount. So, Motherfucker. Uh, got to, buddy. Um, discount still work. But I usually go with one person at a time. I, I no, been, dog. You ain't been a student in a long time. No haps. No haps. You can forget that. <laughs> I still have my student ID. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah. I mean, old ass dude I, I don't never man. really take the um, the family out, you know what I'm saying? I might take Naomi, I might take girls, like, like, I never have all of them all at one time like I want to, so it's not like a, you know what I'm saying, like I'm taking a whole bunch of them out at one time, so, but $20 for a movie at home with the family, I get to sit back, you know what I'm saying, I can have my my beverage that of choice, uh, <laughs> you know, I can have all my snacks that I want to have, you can pop some popcorn at the house, you know, all the, yeah, the yeah. theaters are theaters are dead. Yeah, man. Theaters are dead. Go ahead and release the movies for and, uh, fifteen to twenty dollars. But I'm gonna tell you why I asked y'all this. But I want you to go ahead and say what you're gonna say. Um, I was gonna say uh, that movie Trolls World Tour has proven that a movie can be successful being released straight to video. They can still make money doing that. So it's not like it's a. It's not like it's gonna hurt the movie industry. Look at Netflix. Hey, there you go. That's what I wanted to say. But go ahead. What you, what you about to say? All right. So check this out. This is why I asked. Because Disney has plans to release Mulan, the live action movie that they have just remade. You know, the animated movie mm -hmm. is uh, one of my little sister's favorites. You know, so I've watched a, a lot of it. Um, I'm probably going to be disappointed in the live action because Eddie Murphy would not be playing the dragon, I don't believe. So, uh, and then they, Mulan and Black Widow to release as video de video on demand. Oh, you doing Black Widow like that too? Yeah, yeah. They 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 got thoughts of doing it if the if it doesn't change. That's the backup plan. Okay. Because they really wanted to release it in the theaters because all the other movies got box office hits and they just felt like this movie would be very successful in the box office. I think they're gonna make just as much money doing it at home. Uh, me too. But here's the kicker. This is how much they want you to pay to watch those movies on video to band. What, it's not 15 and it is not 20. They want you to pay $30 to watch that movie video on demand. I pay 30 to see the Black Widow, but not to see Move On. But the and the difference is once you pay that 30, you own it though. It's not like a you you get it for like two days and then you can't watch it no more. If you pay that thirty dollars, it's on Disney Down Plus, right? Nope, nope. Just I like if you go to Amazon Prime. Well, you know, no, I ain't giving up the thirty. No, no. If I if I pay thirty dollars, I want the video. I won't be able to hey, get exactly. on anytime. I want to own it. The way it was 48. described to me wasn't wasn't that way. Probably like a forty-eight oh. hour rental window where you can watch it over within two days, but probably won't. no, no, no. If I pay thirty dollars, I won't watch that bitch anytime. No, I, want I won't rent shit for five dollars that I got. <laughs> if I don't own that motherfucker, that I don't want. You yeah, know, and you know, real. I'm with you on that. I and, with you. and you know what's gonna happen? People gonna pay for, pay that thirty dollars, and I'm gonna watch that shit on some pirated site because I refuse to pay thirty dollars for a movie, dog. Hmm. I yeah, I don't own. I'm not gonna own it. Yeah, I gotta own that thing. <laughs> I gotta own it. Yeah, that gotta be mine. I gotta be mine. No doubt. Hmm. I gotta well, own it. Well, how would y'all feel if they just well DVDs are kind of dead, but if they were like just to sell it as a DVD or Blu-ray or some shit like that? You know what? Never mind. That's a dumb question because nobody. Yeah, yeah. yeah we just yeah we just not gonna <laughs> answer that question because. <laughs> Because you're going to have the digital copy if you do the video on demand. Now you can watch it anytime you want to. You just hey, pay Hannibal, $30. Hey, hey, Hannibal, that's all, hey, Hannibal, that's a come. We ain't going to answer his question. We ain't even going to touch that one. We just going to ride over yeah. that one. Yeah. And keep on going. Hey, fuck yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's gonna keep, keep it moving. Keep it moving. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm for that. I'm for, I'm for the video on demand. I'm, 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 I'm on that lane. 
Yeah, uh, man, it's the best way, man. And I, I please, I pray that they put Top Gun on video on demand. I know they won't do it. Oh, the new one. I, yeah, the new one. Uh, you know, I got to see the new one, dog. See, Prime and a big crew. I a big Tom Cruise fan, dog. Top Gun is one of my top movies of all time. I got to see this remake. I like Tom Cruise. He's all right. He's good. He's dope. No, you, know, you don't like Tom Cruise, man. You said something disparaging about Tom Cruise a little while ago. What I said about Tom Cruise? I'm not going to bring it up, but we had a debate about it. And you know what? We're going to let it go. Because that's for another what, story. What, that crazy-ass religion shit that he into? I don't know what he's into. All I know is movies are great. That's all I know. Except for he's the actor. He's crazy than the motherfucker outside of acting. But That's what makes him so great. Because he's most crazy actors are great actors. You know that. Come on, man. Hey, man, look. Look, that mummy movie that he did with Universal? Ass. <laughs> that shit was ass. <laughs> oh, that wasn't a cash grab, man. I mean, you know. you know. No, nah, they've been trying to restart. That was supposed to be in the same universe as uh, uh, the fucking Invisible Man. You know. Oh, one yeah, because they had um Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde on there, too. Yeah, so. The one thing I don't really care for about Tom Cruise, I don't know why he, ha- why he feels he has to prove that he's still an action star. Like, I, don't he, think he, I think he just loves doing it. I mean, you can it's be not, in other movies other than action, you know? Bro, but Mission Impossible... He done other movies other than action. He done did yeah. other, other great movies. Well, we ain't, we ain't, all he's doing in the past 10 years have been action movies. Well, I ain't seen another yet. Eyes Wide Shut in a long... I know something like that in a, in a minute. Oh, yeah, you ain't gonna see him You're in talking about Vanilla movie. Sky. Vanilla Sky, that was good. That was yeah, that, both, I like yeah, that. Both, yeah, both of them are good. Eyes Wide Shut, Vanilla Sky... Right now, man, Prime, what, what, what Tom doing right now is getting that money. He pulling the Keanu Reeves with John Wick and Will Smith with Bad Boys. He know everybody want to see him doing that type of action. Who do you think is a better actor, Will Smith? You know, he do his own stunts, though, bro. Wait a minute, hold up. Say that again, cuz. He do his own stunts. No, 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 not you, Hannibal. What, you oh. saying that? what question you say again? I said, who you think is a better actor, Will Smith or Tom Cruise? Will Smith? Yeah, no doubt about that. <laughs> <laughs> and I ain't just saying that because he's a brother. Yeah. But the, the boy is bad. The boy is bad. That's all I can say. I, hey, did top. y'all see this uh, movie on Netflix with uh, Jamie Foxx? I'm going to watch it today. I'm going to watch it later today. Yo, I like it. It was good? <laughs> Shit, yeah. What movie with Jamie Foxx? It's called Power um, Play or something like that? Yeah, Power. Power something. Yeah. I'm watch that later today. Yeah, yeah. I'm definitely watching that. I, you I watched know, I, that last night. The shit was good. When bro. I watch a movie, I gotta, I gotta um, punch my plane ticket whenever I watch a movie. I ain't want to do that before the show. So, yeah, yeah. hey, I feel you on that. I got my plane ticket ready to punch it, baby. <laughs> y'all talking about? Man, y'all brought up power. Y'all made me think of something. I gotta. Look at oh yeah, Power Book Two coming out soon too. Next month. Next month. Yeah. I thought it was this month. Ain't yeah. this month? Yeah. Yeah, next no, month. No, next month. I think. Okay. Uh, the power finale was a year ago today or a year ago yesterday. No, it was in January, brother. January. Remember they split no, them that up? That was a couple years. Sorry, it was a couple years ago. Not the series finale, but um, it was a, a the the season finale was a couple years. I saw it on my Facebook thing. I I was cooking out or some shit like that. Oh, okay. That was that was probably for uh, chapter four. Probably, probably well, not chapter four, but season four. Probably, probably, probably. Um. Yeah. All right, uh, moving on. Any, anything else in entertainment? Oh yeah. My How do you like P Valley? Do you like P Valley? I ain't you watched. Like, you ain't seen P Valley? Who seen P Valley? I'm not interested. I'm not interested. I heard. I, what, from what I understand, from a couple of people that I know that have watched, they say it's kind of it kind of emasculates men a little bit. Yeah. I'm not. Yeah. I'm not gonna say that. I'm not gonna say that. I'm gonna say this. Me and Q the Body Brown, we, we was in here watching it. And like we was just like, man, I want to see what it's about. He said the first episode, he said it was kind of straight. And it's good. It's good. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't like uh one of the main characters, how they how they not doing her backstory. But if you look at how they doing her backstory, they give you pieces and pieces and pieces, and the shit gonna catch up with her after a while. You know what I'm saying? Which is about to catch up with her because the motherfuckers on her ass now. But um so you're saying that's and, a good too. And, and every 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 person in this uh on this show has something that is holding them back from probably being the best 
them that they can be in some small way, whether it's a mother that holds religious release over your head, whether it's alcohol and, and you're running from something because you're scared, uh, whether you maybe you're gay and you know openly you can't love someone, maybe you're gay, but you're a rapper, but you still want to be with this. Everybody got something. Yeah, yeah, everybody got a vice or got something in the show. And in the background of the show, it's a it's a fight over property. So I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna watch it though, right? Hey, I'm gonna tell you right now, it's a good show. Like I ain't gonna tell you nothing wrong, it's a good show. The you should say the emasculate man, it's a I mean it's a gay motherfucker on there. The motherfucker who they when they named him, people was like, Oh, they got the gay ass nigga in there, did that in the third. I was like Really don't want to be one of those things where it's just out there all the time, like they just putting the sexual acts in your face all the time, like they did on Empire. And it was one episode where I was like, "Man, no, 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 hell no, hell no." But and for the most part, no, it's just got a good backstory to it, which I'm more interested in the struggle to power, the struggle for power, and what's gonna happen when this girl's past catch up with her. And, right, right. You know what I'm saying? That's that's the part that got me hooked right there. That's the part that got me hooked. Like the, the struggle for the land and the, this girl past story. Like what's gonna happen? Or right. like how did it really play out? Cause we only seen her point of view of everything. Okay. Well maybe yeah. maybe. I don't know. I maybe yeah. ain't been a, ain't been too many new schools that I, I hear the I way. never go off of anybody else's opinion. I gotta watch the shit for myself. I might prejudge a show off of someone else's opinion, but I gotta watch it for myself so I can give myself the uh you know so i can get my my critique of it and I, see what i can pick from it. maybe i will maybe i won't by the time we do this again next week i'll let you know, I'll let you know. <laughs> i doubt it though I'm, I'm, now some of the performances <laughs> of the strippers it's nice it's nice you know what I'm saying? i ain't got to throw no ones out of, but it's nice now y'all know yesterday was nipsey hustle's birthday Yes. Well, happy belated oh, birthday. Right. Yeah, happy belated, man. Yeah. Snoop Dogg dropped a song called Nipsey Blue, which um, I listened to that earlier today. It was really good. Um, it was uh, like a soulful song to tell him how he, you know, think about think about Nipsey and shit like that. So, um, And it wasn't a rapping, so he wasn't rapping. It's like he's kind of harmonizing and the lady is singing the same thing he's harmonizing. It's, it's pretty good. It's a dope, uh, a dope project. I like, I like the, uh, the record. No oh, Snoop. Snoop's still doing his thing, huh? Still doing his thing, man. Um, uh, y'all, Nas put out a new song. Um, okay, that was pretty good. I, I, it was, it was a decent song. I, I forgot the name of it. Something black. I can't remember the name of it, but um, um black to the something, um, uh, undeniably black. Uh, yeah, it was a, like, uh, like just going in about being black. What, what was it? What, what, I'm pulling it up right now because just listen to it. Not yeah, do your research, man, because you seem like you always try to give Nas Ultra a little black. grade. That's what it's called. Ultra black. Ultra yeah, black. ultra black. Okay. That was pretty good. And Drake had put out a new song. Um, Which is a uh, Nike, pretty much a Nike promo, right? La Laugh. Or what the fuck it called? Laugh, not cry, lady. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was okay. It was, it was like typical Drake fashion. It wasn't nothing exciting, but it was okay. Mm. Man, can that guy just go away, man? We ain't had enough of Drake, man. No, you know, know what? You know why you don't you won't get enough of Drake? Because every time he pops up, he pops up with something that's that's good. That's like it's like like okay, this is chill. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's chill. I, I gotta I gotta disagree, man. I gotta disagree. Almost hey. everything he done come out with to me, in my opinion, in the last three years, absolutely whack. Oh wow. You know why you know why you know why I like to do? Cause he stay in his lane, you know what I'm saying. He's not talking about selling drugs, I'll tell you that much. But I no, do he like him put some teeth on that ass. Behind, he always crying behind some ass though. He always whining about some girl though. <laughs> hey, uh, Nikki, no, what, please, I don't think he. I don't. I don't think he be whining though. That's Me and the wife, like, you don't think he be whining. Uh -oh. In my opinion, he be whining. I, all right, so now it's going to take like a little bit of left turn. But me and the wife had a conversation about. This the WAP controversial, right? And how uh, people been coming at Cardi B saying, you know, about her the type of music and how it setting people back and blah 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 blah. What? And, um, she she made a very good point, 
and I kind of countered it, but I'm gonna tell you what her point is. Her point was that you have a lot of artists that just make a certain type of music. Like all they make is this kind of music. You got a conscious rapper that just rap about things of the mind, you know what I'm saying? Um, or you got a gangster rapper just talk about street shit, or you got uh, rappers for the ladies that just rap about doing shit with women, you know? Some, some people are just in that box. And there's nothing wrong. You can't make people go out and do something other than what they're comfortable, which I get. I understand that. Um, my counter to that was that, because uh, she was like, there's a lot of male rappers that do the same thing. You know, they just rap about guns and drugs and nobody talking to them, blah, blah, blah. And my, my, my point to her was that that's true. However, the difference is that with the male rappers, there's so many male rappers that... Um, Gangsta, just talking about killing people isn't the only thing you hear from all these rappers. Like you got rappers that talk about conscious things or like you got your J. Coles and your Kendricks, but you still got your Gucci Mans and you got your, um, you know, whatever other gangs, gangster rappers are out there. You got all of those people and they've reached these high pinnacles, you know what I mean? Where they're able to influence a lot of people. But when it comes to female rappers, the only ones that reach a level of influence Cause you still got your Rhapsodies, your Gene Grays, your, your, your Remy Ma stuff like that. But the ones that reach the, the level of influence are the ones that just rap about sexual, sexually explicit stuff. Your Nicki Minaj's, um, your Cardi B's, your Lil' Kim's. Those, uh, after Queen Latifah and MC Light, after that era, there's not, haven't been a lot of M female MCs that reach that high level of influence where, um, Unless they've been talking about sex in some degree, some nasty shit or whatever like that. That's that's the Why way I've seen. Then? Why is that? I don't know. It's, uh, it could be the people's fault. Could be because the record company keep boxing and putting them in that box, dog. They don't allow them to do nothing else. <clears throat> I want to see what you guys thought about. I'm gonna diversity. say diversity with female rappers. But that's all. Diversity that's with all female rappers is out the window. Ain't none that's, of them diverse. They all, all them rap, all them female rappers right now talk about the same exact thing. That's it. Well, the ones that made it, because the ones that he just named beforehand, they're more diverse in their delivery. So, yeah. um, I it goes on to the consumer. It's what the consumer consumes, and that's what the the female consumer likes to consume. They love that ratchet shit. So they does that mean? Does that mean, in y'all opinion? that uh, the female artists actually have a lot of influence on women and what they talk about? I'm going to say it's, it's still the consumer. Because if they went out and supported Rhapsody the way that, that uh, they support Nicki Minaj or Cardi B, then you would have females more geared towards delivering more thoughtful records. I have no problem with someone uh, uh, releasing anything that's raunchy or nasty or whatever, because I'm a fucking adult, you know what I'm saying? And I'm, I like raunchy and nasty shit, you know? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And all that shit. But you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm a diverse person as well. So I'm gonna listen to something conscious whenever I feel like listening to something conscious. But I feel like for them to get that on the female level, to get them up to that level, um, like Rex said, record companies also gotta start pushing that. But the consumer also has to show that they're they're more catered towards that because to get record companies to move in that way, it has to be uh, the numbers have to start to change to go that way before them to start pushing it that way. That's what they do. They Remember, they're back burners. So they get something on a, 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 a that's, that's blazing a trail, they're not gonna go, you know, they'll go and jump on that. They'll leave what they know because this right here is blazing the trail now and it's hot. So we want, we want, we want more female artists to sound like this. Because remember, they wanted artists to sound like, they remember they wanted Southern artists to sound like they we're East Coast. The more East Coast you sounded, the more lyrical and all that stuff. Yeah, you had your Uncle Luke, and that was big for us because every, like I say, the consumer always loves that nasty shit. Because we're adults and we do nasty shit. So, yeah. 
you got to start pushing it. But once down south, you got your outcasts, you had your goody mobs, you had your scarfaces, you had your UGKs, the people start hearing that sound and the diversity in the southern areas. You had your screwed up music, you had your bass from Miami, you had the triple six mafia sound, and then you had the organized sound that was coming from outcasts. All of that. So now, so um, people people wanted that, you know what I'm saying? So the consumer has to push that. That's all yeah. I'm saying. But what, but you know, but as I, I want to. I want to ask the question about influence as far as, um, oh, how can I say, um, uh, as far as a female artist putting out music that's going to influence females in the general population, you know, you feel like they actually have that kind of influence. I, I, of course, that's what the consumers are buying. But are they buying it because that's just what they rather hear? Or are that that's a dumb that's a kind of a dumbass question. Of course, that's no. That ain't a dumb it. question. That's not a dumb question because they basically buying what they forced to hear now. It's not what they want to hear. Yeah, ain't nobody buying okay. that shit. You got the access on wait your a minute, phone. Wait a minute, hold up. Wait a minute, look up. up any artist that you want. Wait a minute, to hold up. Let me let me though. finish my train of thought first before you start interrupting. Cause I know how you go. Damn, I just <laughs> like said I've been it, saying. Now, nah, like I've been saying. 98, and y'all know my opinion, 98% of rappers are fake. They show a false bravado. They show, it's entertainment. That's all that it is. So right now, you got a lot of these females, and you right, Prime, they are influencing a lot of young females, and probably a handful of older females, too, in a certain way or whatever, with this ignorance that they put out. Because if you notice now since, and I'll go back to since Lil' Kim. Lil' Kim started a bad trend, I think. Mm -hmm. And now you see a lot of these girls doing it now. You And between that time, between Lil' Kim and Cardi B time, you did have female rappers coming out. But a lot of them got pushed to the back because they wasn't showing sexuality. You know, they wasn't being raunchy or whatever. But now, just like how y'all said earlier about, like, certain rappers that, certain female rappers that don't get airplay, every female rapper that you hear on the radio is talking nothing but raunchiness. Because that's all they want to press out and put out to influence these young ladies to uh, act a certain way. Okay. So I mean, it's hard. It's hard to say that um, they're not influenced by what they hear because we know music influences us. I mean, back in the day when Big Daddy came and I had a big ass on um, box feed. You're always gonna get influenced by music in some certain way or fashion or whatever. And instead of positivity being pushed out now. It's all about sexuality. I I heard like I heard some lady um, call into the Breakfast Club one morning um, this week and was like, you know, she feel like it's setting women back, and and I wasn't sure how I I wasn't sure if that was an accurate statement or not. But the way it is, think about it. Do I mean you got females now? All they want to talk about is being a boss and being identified more than what they body more than they beauty or, you know, they won't be identified with their minds and everything. But if you got this shit here, that's all you're going to, you know, when you watch the WAP video, are you really thinking about like, oh man, you know, she's an intelligent, line. no, you're not thinking that, bro. You're no, not I'm thinking, thinking she got that wet, wet. You got that exact. <laughs> yeah. But I'm also listening to the words too. You know what I'm saying? Me. Because at the bar, I, if, if the, the bars weren't legitimate, then I wouldn't like the song. I, I just want what the beat was. I just want more diversity, and I, I'm, I'm not putting the earnest on the um, on Cardi B or Meg The Stallion. Um, I'm putting it on um, these record companies or the, even these program directors um, at radio stations to play more music from other female artists. Just do that shit. Like, it don't. Why are they only picking the sexually explicit stuff? WAP shouldn't even be a radio song. That should be an album cut that you have to hear from the album. There shouldn't be a, even if it was put out as a, a, a video for it, that shouldn't be a radio song. And think about that, cuz. 20 years ago, you would have never seen that on the radio or on the video form. You would have had to seen that in um, BT. We're not, we, we, we not gonna, we not gonna, we not gonna yeah. say that because Everything Uncle changes. Luke. Yep, was the Uncle Uncle Luke was out there. Now I'm not. I'm He's not. He's the trendsetter. I'm not against sexually explicit music. Nah, 
I'm yeah. just against of, of the people with the powers that be not diversifying it enough from the female artists because the, a lot of male artists get a lot of opportunities to do different type of music. But then well, we people. listen to different type of music more. Huh? We consume different type of music. The female, our female counterparts, this is why I wish that young lady would have showed up on the show so she could have gave her perspective. Oh, she just I might ain't one out of the total oh, package. She, she was scared. Me, man. She just messaged me. I forgot. She on California time. She ain't on the East Coast. Oh, oh, okay. Tell her to come on in. Tell her to come yeah. on in. You said she Tell put it on her on. face. So she might be joining in real soon. Hey, she I, that's not she how long it takes take her to put on her face. Man, come <laughs> on, man. man y'all, we, y'all, we talking y'all, about this. We almost finished. Y'all sit there and keep yeah, all for the flam. She don't want none of the total yeah, package. Yeah, she, she this thing man, already, hey, man. hey, Rex, the total package says she don't want no smoke. So I don't know. Hannibal, Hannibal is gonna have to agree. It looks like to me she don't want no smoke. She, but let her put her coming, man. I think she coming. Just hold on, fellas. Let let it, it, hey, well, what I got to say is this right here. Yeah, go ahead, finish it. It's on to the fe- like I said. It's on to the female consumer to start seeking out more because. It's not just your radio. You got to think. Streams are what, what leads the trend right now. So if you're on your Apple Music, Google Music, Spotify, Pandora, or whatever, what people put in to play from the female artists, that stream is going to go up. Those numbers are going to go up. Now, mm-hmm. let's, let's, let's think about this now. If Young Mom was to drop a track right now, she would change... Young M.A. Oh, my bad. <laughs> I, I called her Young Mom. My bad. My bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yo, if she was to drop a track right now, she would change the directions of the streams. It would some of that runchy stuff would still be there, but she would change the direction, and they would start looking for more female artists to sound like her and to make songs like her. That's all how the that's how the industry works. If they got a song that sounds like this, like boom, like that bounce when the when the New Orleans bounce came out. Mm-hmm. You had up no cats trying to get that bounce sound. You well, know what I'm saying? You, like, this, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, let me ask you this, Dan. You, do you think that female consumers just don't want to hear the diversity? I don't think. I think that's what they give, give to me. It, it's up to them. I like rap. That's I think, what I, I think, listen to. I think um, um, men, male consumers actually like the diverse. They want to hear a Rhapsody. They do listen to Remy Ma. And they do listen to all these other uh, female artists that don't, aren't so sexually explicit. They, I think we do. I listen to Rhapsody. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, yeah. So you, I, maybe it's the females. Maybe if the females are requesting more of these things, they can come out there. Because yeah. I don't think I mean, cause, men aren't cause, buying Cardi B like that. We might listen to some songs, but we ain't out there down. We ain't out there going to get all her shit. That's we no, doing that. not at all. Well, hardly any, like, like again, hardly anybody buys music. You know what the fuck I'm talking about. It's the streams that get it. <laughs> and <laughs> those females, <laughs> trust me, when they get on there, they go to whatever thing, oh, they put in Cardi B, WAP, or they put in Nicki Minaj, whatever, whatever. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Before they go put in Rhapsody, uh, Oprah. You know so what I'm saying? Yeah, it's their own fault, then. Yeah. But I mean, you can't. You say it's you say it's the females' own fault. Damn. <laughs> yeah, I mean, in a way, and, and, well, they gotta take. I ain't saying it's completely all their fault, but they have to take some onus because the consumers drive the industry. True. What you about to say, Rex? I don't. I don't totally agree with that. Now, I mean, record companies they form they form something and they make people follow. They like the pie pipe. No, 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 no. They like, just jump on what's hot. They like Hollywood. I, that's true too, but at the same time, they they initiate trends. Like not no since, more. Since the dog, they've been doing this since the nineties, dog. Name me. It's not like that no name, more. Name me. Okay. All right. Before before two thousand, you had a diverse What's absent, a diverse What's field of rappers. Right I'll I'll let I'll, well, if you let me finish, I'll get to my point. <laughs> we before the two thousand, we had a diverse field of rappers. Totally diverse. Oh, you had people yes, like yes, the tribe, De La Soul. Um, you can even throw TLC Ladies in there. Whatever, new school, do whatever man or whatever. You know, we'll After that, you. it's strictly gangster. Everything all gangster. It's no more dance party type rappers and nothing like that. No more happy go type rappers and nothing like that. Why is Every, that? 
because the music industry makes it that way. No, the they consumers don't going that way. They get these guys, they bring them in, they put thug clothes on them, they tell them yeah. to act a certain way when they know the guy ain't that way to push that image. That's what they do. And that's all they're doing with Nicki Minaj and Cardi B and them girl and Megan Thee Stallion. They, through all three of them rappers, one in the same. There's nothing different about them at all. No originality or nothing. They are exactly clones of Lil' Kim. And that's what they want. That's what these record companies want. They want but they want to the push consumer it have to push it for the record company to push it that way? Because you for gangster to... music to blow up the way that it blew up, only reason record companies start creating their own little CB4s is so because no one else was checking for this other sound. They needed that sound. They chased that sound. The record companies are like a dog chasing a car. No, the record company is image providers because they know that a lot of black folks and a lot of minorities uh -oh. and people that listen to this type of Fellas, stuff. We about to be joined by Miss Purpose. Oh, oh shit. We done talked up. We done talked up. We done talked a little shit. She done came in. I uh -oh. can't believe she came and showed up to challenge oh, the Oh, snap. Where she at? Don't be scared. She's coming she through. She's coming through. I'm going to tag out. Don't tag <laughs> out, nigga. No, I'm going to tag out so I can... Um, <laughs> I could, I could throw some illegal stuff in the ring. Uh. Hello, Mr. That's my manager. He, that's right. Yeah, Hannibal is my manager. He like Bobby the Brain. <laughs> Hello, yeah. Mr. Tiffany Purvis. How are you? Welcome to Primarily Speaking. Uh, you got your thing muted, darling. Okay. I'm going to ask you to unmute. Okay. Can you yeah. hear me now? Yeah, now we can hear you. How's it going? All right. It's all right. It's all right. Happy Sunday. Yeah, happy Sunday. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, how y'all doing? We're doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. Welcome to Primarily Speaking. I am Prime. Um, I'm Prime. Uh, yeah. You already know Rex. Mm -hmm. The total package. She know me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's yeah. up, Ms. Purvis? Not much. Can you guys see me? We no. Can see you you got to turn your video on. You know, I t remember I told you when, we, when you first sent me the link, I got issues, right? <laughs> uh -oh. I don't know how to do all of this stuff. Oh, uh, oh yeah. If you if you just tap on your screen, then you see where it says show video. Start video. Start video. There you go. Okay. Yeah. All right. There all you right. Go. Hello, hello, and um, that's uh, that's Hannibal. Hannibal Vanderbilt. Hey, I am Hannibal. Uh, you came in at a very good time. We were actually uh, talking about um, yes, actually, female yeah. artists. And whether or not they get a bad rep as far as um, putting out the kind of music. Well, we was specifically talking about the WAP stuff, but um, I knew you. I knew that was coming. But, you know, <laughs> we, were, we were trying to make a determination to figure out whether or not who whose responsibility is it for diversity in music from female artists. Whose responsibility? Yeah. So the way we um, just to bring you up to speed real quick. Um, um, uh, I was having a conversation with my wife about it, and she was saying, you know, that there are uh, female artists that just do a, a certain type of music, which is fine, you know, and you can't expect them to do all this other stuff that people are wanting, which is good. Um, and what I replied back was, you know, male artists, there are a lot of male artists in different genres that reach the, you know, the top of their game and um, a position of influence. Um, as far as the population goes. And I don't think that there are a lot of female artists that have reached that, that position as far as being influential to the populace. Um, um, the only ones that have gotten there are the Nicki Minaj's, Cardi B's, um, uh, and people like that that are- Beyonce. So Beyonce, but we're talking rap. We're talking rap, not- um, She raps? Eh, she's not a rap. Sasha Fierce, that's the rap. I considered a rapper though. Yeah, but it go though. It goes. You know, it you goes. You don't hear her like 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 J Lo with her non singing on a rap cell. Very true. Very true. You know what she doing when she doing it? She chooses. Well, we, I like. Um, we but she's influential. To, we were trying to figure out whether or not you know is it the is it the artist responsibility? Is it the record company responsibility? Or is it the consumer's responsibility? to um, steer the type of music that gets put out? Well, it is the record company because they control the big picture. Um, all those, you know, that's why uh, Nick got in trouble. And he went up there and he said, 
supposed anti-Semitic statements because that's who runs Hollywood. Oh, you're talking about Nick Cannon, right, right. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, the Ricks was saying the same thing. Pretty much. I, and I feel like it's the consumer because I feel like the record company, they they may create the image, but they create the image after it gets hot. So if you get something else that blazing the trail, they'll jump away from whatever they felt like was hot to whatever uh, is blazing the trail at the time. And that yeah, way... That's 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 how the consumer goes control. But to keep it all the way a buck with y'all, like to keep this shit a whole buck, mm -hmm. it's everybody. Everybody pays a responsibility in it. The artists and what they bring to the table, the record company and what they seek to put out to the consumer, and the consumer for setting the trail to blaze in a certain way. That's a scapegoat. That's a scapegoat. <laughs> that's a scapegoat. <laughs> they ain't no skate. Well, that's really how that's I feel. That's, well, that's, that's how really you feel. how I feel. That's, a, that's yeah. how you feel, but that's a scapegoat. That's a scapegoat. That's not but a scapegoat. Reason why Takashi still has a career? Yeah, because mm -hmm. the consumers keep people keep listening to it. Consumers. Yeah, and they know that America loves train wrecks, and they will yeah. let that boy self destruct and make money off of it. No, no if nobody was listening to it, if nobody I ain't was listening, listening to it. To it yeah, I don't listen to it, but it's a lot of younger people who still listen to it. And you know what they say? They say he is real because he's snitch. Everybody knows he's a snitch. He doesn't run away from the fact that he is a snitch. And they just like the guy. I don't know. To me, I wouldn't fuck with him. But I mean, I'm not. And that right there, that's how they influence them young minds. That's how you know them record companies yes, doing exactly. this on purpose. That's you know? exactly my point. Did y'all not just listen to what I just said? I said. <laughs> They like him because this is what they said. Not the record company. This is what the young younger people who listen to him say. They say he didn't lie about snitching. He owned up to the fact that he did snitch. And they say that's so real to them that they're going to keep fucking with what he's doing because he a snitch. I don't like the fact that he a snitch. I ain't a street guy, but I'm not going to listen. I never did listen to him anyway, and I still wouldn't listen to him. You know what I'm saying? Because, dude, you, you got to write up Dan Courtney. You, 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 I mean... He damn sure don't get no streams from me. I, that I, don't, I don't listen to him. I, but that's I, my I, whole point, too, and that's why I've been saying about the record company, even his record company or whatever. He if independent. He been on my, if he been on my label, I'd have he dropped him a long time ago. But at the same he time... independent. Well, but remember, uh, he's not a gangster. Yeah. Even though he he's independent. Type of music, he, he doesn't say it himself. He, he, he don't even say that stuff because that's what the people around him wanted him to do. Exactly, and that's and that's my point, dog. Because we know he phony, we know he fake. Yeah. But as long as they put them out, if the people there, never listen TV, to that, if the people never listen, I to can that, never finish my point with this guy, man. How come, hey, Prime? How come? How come everybody else can, you know, let Hannibal finish his point, but he don't let nobody finish? No. Mute that guy, man. Mute that man, guy. Man, stop crying, man. <laughs> Why and shit, man. Mute that guy. Mute that guy. All right. So we gonna, <laughs> what we gonna do is we gonna take that moment, that brief moment, and we gonna move on to the next topic. And how about Segue. We, yeah. We, that, how about we do that? Square, square, share all of that. Um. Okay. What were we talking about? Entertainment. So, man, we yeah, we drag entertainment on for a little minute. Um. Mm -hmm. We gonna we gonna skip sports and we gonna jump right into politics because we have our it's special sports. guest today. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> yes, we, yeah. We go, we go. Here we go. Here we go. Big news. I uh, I am looking forward to hearing what Miss mm -hmm. Purvis has to say and what Mr. Rex has to say. Yeah. I got to go get my popcorn because I. Yeah, let me get my popcorn ready, like T.O. say. So, <laughs> Purvis, I hope you're ready. I hope you're ready, Miss Purvis. I hope you brought it. Hey, um, Rex, yeah, I'm not going to cut you off, ready. okay? <laughs> I was ready. I'm going to have to go out to the car. I'm going to take y'all with me. because oh, okay. That is fine. We, yeah, take your time. Found the way. we got on the face, man. You staying protected. Well, I got to get something out of the garbage that I didn't mean to throw away. I uh, got you. Got you, got you. <laughs> so I don't want nobody's whatever lying <laughs> up in my face. I ain't mad at you. Stay protected. Mm -hmm. Stay safe. Yeah, All right. Um, first I'm going to take y'all with me. We know that um, Trump has been trying to um, prevent mail-in voting and stuff like that. We we know he's been doing with everything in his power to try to prevent mail-in. Did you see all those mailboxes that he had removed? Yeah, oh, I mean, yeah. Putting, um, machines. <laughs> yeah, no, no, the blue mailboxes. Oh really? Oh, I did not see yeah. that. Oh, the place where the, in the 
um, post office, um, you know, yard. Oh, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't seen yeah, after November, wow, after November, they said they're gonna remove all of them. Oh wow! I didn't even I didn't even know they were still around. To be honest, I just go to the post office. If you yeah, in a bird, in a few city spots, yeah. yeah. So, and you, but since they so under under staff, they they kind of got to do away with them because they don't have enough staff to go out there and check them. Mm. But they say that you know mailing mailing. And, Come on. Doesn't have to be picked up by your postman. You can take, they have places that you can go and drop off your votes. Um, if you want to do that, you don't have to just rely on the, the mailman coming to pick up your stuff. So I, 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 I don't think, I don't think his actions should deter people because if you still want to do mail and vote, there's still other opportunities or other uh, ways for you, options for you to get that in. Um, right. If you really want to do it that way. And that's all he's trying to do. He's just trying to influence and frighten people to make people think that, oh my God, I'm not gonna get my um, vote. I'm not gonna get my ballot and you know, I gotta do this, I gotta do that. Well, and, you know, he's, he's afraid of the new dynamic duel that is now gonna be representing the Democratic Party in the next- I wouldn't call them a dynamic duel, <laughs> dog. They just two people. <laughs> we gonna have Vice President Biden and I'm mean, uh yeah, he's gonna be running for right. and his VP right. pick is going to be Kamala Harris. Kamala. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Yo, man. Um, Miss Purvis dropped out. I don't know what happened. Maybe uh -oh. she uh -oh. y'all wanna get sports in real quick? Yeah, let's do, we can do sports real fast until she come back. <laughs> <laughs> we we saving that. We save yeah, let's that. do the yeah, let's do the man stuff. Let's do the man stuff. We we'll save that. We, we definitely gotta have that. Um, so sports NBA playoffs are starting on Monday. Lakers going down in the first round. You got damn it. dollar. You, you think damn, so? Damn, oh yeah, damn time. Damn time. It's damn time. Yeah, man. He was uh, he was looking good out there, man. You know, I said I wasn't gonna cut you off, but you got. You gotta stop that shit. <laughs> you know, I give you a little freedom and you fly off the hinges. Hey, hey, Prime, I, I them, said that. I said I, that so he could cut me off. That's hey, right. That's right. I give him, I give him two. I, I think it's gonna be a four-two series, man. Lakers. Um, I think, that, yeah, I think the Lakers gonna win, but it's gonna be a four-two series because think about it, man. Look how hard they playing right now. Look how hard Carmelo playing right now. But everybody in our they, they, they offense they consistent with everybody else. Mm. You know what I'm saying? With say they had the last game, with CJ McCollum finally had a, had a good game. Yeah, finally, yeah, I, yeah, you know, yeah. He, he said they had because John Morant was killing them. But when when, when CJ called out John, was like, he can't motherfucking guard me. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Pulled his pants down. You pulled yeah, his pants oh, down. Bad, yeah. bad. Even though John was pulling <laughs> their pants down the whole game. He had him out there. What a broken, what a broken thumb. Exactly. Man, that was that was a good game. That grizzly game was a good game. But I think y'all think the uh, um all right, shot it up, turtle water. Blazers, is, Blazers think, um, the Lakers have been been playing, you know, softball um the last few games because they just waiting for the playoffs. That's all they do is play softball. Anthony Davis is the epitome of soft. He is soft. Man. That man be out there balling, man. Why you say that? Are you serious? What have you been watching, Prime? Listen, man, he is yeah, soft. The man had His season numbers, numbers are good. It and, the, good, right? and the big games, he does not show up. He's not he's not tournament tested. He's not playoff tested, so I don't trust him. He is playoff tested. He's made it to How's the playoffs. How's that? How's that? He's made it to the playoffs. With the New Orleans Pelicans? Yeah. And, it, and he had a how good far, ass how, series. How, good how ass series because they beat. They went to the second round. They went to the second round. Just the second round? You sure about yeah. that now? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Their team wasn't they team wasn't that good because remember Boogie Cousins had got hurt earlier in that season. Oh, you talking about more recently when they get Boogie Cousins on the team. You ain't talking about when he been on the team by himself and he couldn't keep to carry them boys to the playoffs at all. I mean, That's basically he did because Boogie <laughs> Cousins was gone half of the season, bro. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. See, you done missed the point all again and way over there. I talking about before Boogie get there. That's what I talk about. Anyway, we don't want to spend too much time on this topic because this, <laughs> this old man is out of his fucking mind. But uh, <laughs> I think he'll take it all. Yeah. I think he'll take it all. Uh... Take it all. It's hard to tell right now. We got some good matchups out there because you the got the Milwaukee Bucks will take it all. Giannis no. from the Bucks will Miami take it. Miami Heat will all beat right. the will eliminate the Milwaukee Bucks. Ah, you eliminate the Bucks? You, yeah. you hear that? 
Mute his microphone yes. for that, man. Give him yes. five seconds. Have you watched the Miami Heat this year? Have you watched yes. that team this year? Yes. That team plays yes. tough basketball. They tough, have no yards. Miami Heat basketball. They play defense and they scare Giannis ass from running down in that lane because why? Oh, I don't know about that. Damn bull. He go bull rushing. No, he got up against to his game. Oh, I don't hey, think Giannis need to come. No, Giannis he ain't got up against because he gonna do number offensive foul. He just gonna run you over. Well, yo, this ain't football, son. You can't just tuck the ball and lower your shoulder. You hey, gotta um, keep your head up. You gotta what have, else you, you gotta have some skin. Yeah, that link <laughs> be moving around them, boy. Almost purpose about to come back, y'all, boy. What that season series record is with them? Hey, man, it's two two. Okay, okay, cool. you know, clear cut winner. <laughs> what exactly. I say, and the, hey, the Mavs are at the Clippers. That's 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 a good game. That's a good series, bro. We'll see. I, I'm looking forward to it. Welcome hey, back. That's Clippers. your boy. That's your boy down there, Rex. That's gonna be giving the uh, Clippers some trouble. Luca. That's right. But they, yeah, but they and still they got Porzingis back to full health. Yeah, but they still gonna lose. They might be. They gonna lose, lose okay, but they gonna give back. them a push. Oh, okay. Welcome All right, let's get we back we, to politics, guys. We thought we wasn't going to come back. <laughs> we thought you was running. No, I, I lose signal when I go down to the parking lot. I uh, got you, got you, got you. I'm uh, back. Thank you for coming back. And uh, we, we were jumping into a little bit of sports until you came back because I did not want to miss this political debate. So, Wait a minute. Hold on, Ms. Purvis. Are you watching any NBA basketball? No, I haven't started doing that yet. It's about time to start. Mm-mm. I know they said they're playing in some type of bubbles. Yeah, yeah. Way off. Uh, what? Over in, um, Orlando. <laughs> Play, playoffs oh. Monday. Hey, but yeah. I do you say we might not make it all the way through the playoffs because when they bring in the families in the second round of the playoffs for the teams that's going to be fortunate enough to move on and play on, not the Portland Trailblazers. And Dame Dollar, because they're gonna be on the couch filming um State Farm commercial. Um, <laughs> we, we gonna, gonna bring the fans. We, we gonna come back to that. We gonna come back to that. I, I definitely <laughs> want, to, want to hear some more about that. We gonna come back to that. However, right now, um, what we're right. talking about, we we got past the mail-in voting issue, and we were leading into um Kamala Harris and Joe Biden being our uh president and VP running people for this com- upcoming election. So. Um, a lot of people aren't happy with Ka- Kamala Harris, and a lot of people are. Um, Rex is somebody that doesn't think that she's a good pick. Nope. I don't and, know. Um, Ms. Tiffany Purvis, I think, uh, if I'm uh, correct me if I'm wrong, you believe she is an excellent pick. Yes, with what we're dealing with? Yeah. And, Her and uh, one-legged goat might be the ticket. I thought it would be great to have a black woman come on here and uh, argue that side. So, um, first of all, uh, I'm going to ask Rex. I want you to say why do you think she's not a good pick? Uh, 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 uh. You know we can't do that, Prime. Ladies first. Miss Purvis is here as our guest. We got to treat her with low cordiality. Man, right. you got to love a man. I apologize. That mm-hmm. Now he's going to beat a lot. That's right. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> Miss Purvis. My southern hospitality this man is displaying. Would, would you saying, please enlighten saying. us with your take on why you believe Kamala is a good pick? Well, I mean, come on. Number one, she actually does have some political education and experience behind her, unlike the actor that's in the office now. And it's going to take somebody with connections and influence and someone who does have a conscience, even though they said she did this, she did that. Her office did a lot of that, not just her. And she's going to have um, to explain that. That's why we have town halls. That's why we have um, debates. Mm-hmm. And until I hear her side of the story, as far as I'm concerned, there's nobody else out here to get this mass murderer out of the damn office. This fool, this orange fool. Yes, I call him Cheeto Mussolini. You know, <laughs> I like this. One. I like this. Out of here, Cheeto you know, Mussolini. He want he want to have a legacy of deaths behind him, like all great, sick, sadistic leaders. Mm. Oh, I saw. They that. think they get power from the lives that they've controlled. That's why you have mass shooters and stuff like that because they get off on the ability to control lives. They feel like God. 
All right, he got to be stopped. All right, so, uh, look, why do you think that she is not a good pick? Well, I won't say she's not necessarily a good pick. I don't like her. I'm going to tell my opinion why I don't like her. Because right. her history out in California, over 1,500 men incarcerated, marijuana marijuana charges, dog, first off. Not just that. Yeah, and these guys punished to the fullest extent of the law. You have convicts that are about to be released. Their releases are delayed so they can keep making money because you know how the, <clears throat> how the prison system is. They make money off of how many um, inmates they have and at a certain time or whatever. She's done a terrible job of looking out for black people, as, as my opinion. And they already um, um, questioned her at a town hall um, during the presidential nominee. When the, and I can't remember the young lady name, but she asked her about it. And Kamala Harris, she smiled at blood. She just blew it off like, yeah, you know. I locked these dudes up for smoking weed, even though I used to smoke weed, which is contradictory and hypocritical. So for me, I just don't, I just don't see her as that. And I understand that people excited because they're like, well, I don't care if a rock or if you have Pinocchio running with Gene, um, Joe Biden, we'd vote for him anyway. And I think that's the worst thing about it because we're not getting the best of the people that we should be getting. We're just picking the lesser of two evils. That's well, my who is plan. the best? Who is the best? Well, we don't know right now because we're depending on a 77-year-old man trying to get a 74-year-old idiot out. <laughs> so. And when, you, and when we talking about Kamala Harris being the vice president, she has to be able to run this country. We one heartbeat from her being the president of the United States. Now, during the presidential nominee, she got 2%. She got no higher than 2% of the votes at any time during that whole presidential nominee. So if they weren't excited about her being president then, what changed about now? That's my whole thing. Everything that we went through. <laughs> <laughs> oh lord i made the wrong hey. choice and that's understood see and, and that's understood and that's my whole point and that's my whole point because er, because and america not going through so much with this dude man it's just ridiculous anybody would we'd vote for anybody else so you could put the blob and joe biden or whatever <laughs> and we'd vote for them man anybody. you know and that's the worst thing about it in these years to come we need to start having the best candidates you don't need to be no mudslinging or nothing like that. And we need to have capable people in there to do this job of running this country. Because as you can see, the leadership that we got now is the same reason why we're in the shit that we're in now. True. Yeah, it's like they wanted to force our hand. So, what, But at the same time, they don't have any good candidates either. So uh, let me uh, chime in, not oh, cutting okay. anybody off, you know, mm -hmm. like I've been <laughs> accused of doing. Uh, but... Uh, I got this question proposed to you, Rex. Uh, yes, do you, how do you feel that she went back and tried to change some of the laws and um, it was blocked? And do you think that now she's, say, she's stating that her views on that is to get those changes done and to help in any possible way that she can? Do you think she'll be able to do that or recover from that? Would that change your viewpoints of her? If any of that, uh, any of those things, or if she's able to accomplish any of those goals, yeah, if she can get real criminal reform, you know, and you, that's funny. That's the first thing they always throw out at us is, yeah, we're gonna get you criminal reform. No, nah, we, we want straight justice. But if she gonna turn around and help, you know, get criminal reform done, that will change my opinion. But I honestly don't think that's her and her best interest. I don't think she. I'm about all that. I have a question. I think she, I think she uh, feels bad about uh, what happened initially with all of the, you know, the, the things that she had, because I think that's why she tried to go back and get it changed, because she saw how far it went into ruining the lives, especially of the African-American community. Um, but I am kind of skeptical about the, the pick. I'm not too high on it. Um, I see it, and I'm like, okay, what can she do? What can she bring to the picture that's going to help us change the uh, America from, from what it is right now? That's just all I got to say about it. That's, that's just my, my question about all of it. So I have a question, well, Ms. Purvis. Yes. Um, being, you, you are in California, correct? Yep. 
And um, uh, do you mind if I ask how long you lived in California? Well, I'm originally born in Brooklyn. I came here when I was 11. Okay, so you've been there for, for, uh, for a little while. So um, you and you've obviously had some experience with her being, well, she was in LA County. I don't know which part of uh, California you're in. But, I'm in um, the Bay Area. Okay, so you have some knowledge as far as what she's done in the state. Yeah. Correct? And correct. what do you have to say about the people that try to attack her record as far as them believing that she doesn't do enough for black people or she's been harmful to black people? Well, when you're a prosecutor, that's your job. Mm. And you don't, you didn't write the law. Mm -hmm. And you gotta uphold the law, the information. Okay, some evidence was withheld in one of the cases, but it was one of her attorneys it wasn't directly her it was someone who worked for her office mm -hmm. that gentleman actually got exonerated and she helped him get ex exonerated and he got a payout and um he also came out and endorsed her um it's been a video flying around I heard I saw. yes uh -huh. I, heard, yeah, I saw that too yeah and so she has done some reparation in regards to that but at that time you have to look at the time frame of what the law was mm-hmm and what they're when like obama was in office they said oh well he didn't do enough sometimes he had to give on this issue to get this issue done right compromise you get what i'm saying yeah we just yeah we discussed that on here yeah yeah and so i feel in order to break through the glass ceilings that she had to break through under the guise and leadership of willie who was who been shake willie brown that's who got her in office oh okay Anyway, uh, <laughs> that's a Cali secret. But uh, okay, yeah, that that was elaborate, to be, please. He was supposed to be one of his boo things. Oh, yeah. uh -huh. Willie Brown. Okay, well, yeah. That, 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 right there, Brown. that right there should tell you she ain't got no business being in this office. That was that know, right that. there alone. So you know how many, sweet Dick Willie. How many white women did the same thing? <laughs> and now what you're doing right now, young lady, is talking about what aboutism? Because you can't go in there talking about you trying to do the, the same thing that these white people are doing. You're supposed to go in there and do the shit the right way. That's why I mean, her history is tainted with stuff just like this. <laughs> That's my and whole thing with it. And look at what we have in office now. If they can run, this is my point too. If they could run with all the taint and coochie grabbing and all that stuff, and porn star slanging and uh, all that, then why can't pedoph pedophilia? At least she ain't no pedophile. Um, yeah, why can't she? She has a checkered past, but it ain't as tainted as that. We're humans, we all do things. But it's what you're doing now and what you grow from within your relationship to people, the community. Like at the time, weed was extremely legal. I mean, illegal. Now it's not, so it makes her look doubly worse. And then a lot of those people have priors. It wasn't like she took them down because of the weed. They have priors. They were like three-time offenders, and this was the last straw. So it made it look like she took them down, down, down. But they have some things that they did before they got busted. That and I, took them down, down, down. And that's, that's where I look at it. That's the one of the things that, um, you know, when people are talking about uh, she don't do nothing for black people or she don't help black people, whatever the case may be, um, you know, you, you, you're not going to get it right all the time. Nobody gets it right all of the time. Sometimes it's a learning, a learning curve where you did something and you thought you were doing something right and you learned that that wasn't a better decision. Um, so um, the question I want to ask you next, Rex, is who who would you have rather seen instead of Kamala Harris? And why do you think that that person would have made a better VP? I think Stacey Abrams would have made a better um, choice because- They still mad at her. You don't yeah. think we need to keep Stacey in place though? They're, they're so still upset can't... with her and they're still upset with her, but at the same time, for in my opinion, she has a way better and cleaner record than Kamala Harris. In my yeah. opinion. And that, that's that's the reason why I say that because I don't want nobody going in there saying, "Well, if they can do this, then we can do this too." Or whatever. I want that person going in there saying, "We're gonna do this shit the right way." But they say Stacey is no very strong in the house, and they don't want to take her out of the house. 
That's understandable too. But I mean, if she that strong in the house, just think how much stronger she would be as vice president of the United States. Think about how much control the house has. We definitely need her in there. Because after this election, we can get some majority if we... Well, honestly, you know who I really wanted to be the vice president? And I'll be honest, Joe Biden, he painted himself into a box. He should have never said that he was going to guarantee to have a black woman as his VP. He should have never said that. Andrew mm-hmm. Cuomo would have been the ber- would have been the perfect. Uh, my perfect sister said that president. early on. Yeah, he he yeah, would have been the perfect early. enemy. That would have been hands down, no question, absolute win. And another thing with Kamala Harris, everything need they, it sounds warm and fuzzy right now, but a lot of America does not like her, and it goes back to her two percent of the votes for the presidential nominee when she was running. A lot of a lot of Americans don't like her, and I mean. You got to think about it like this. We make up 13% of the population. And out that 13% of the population for us, you know all 13% ain't going to be voting. I'm, so I'm, that put us at an extra disadvantage. I'm, 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 um, a lot of people are saying they're not going to vote. Yeah. I'm disappointed that people just don't like her. More. They don't have good reason not to like her. Well, I already told you my reason now, so you can't tell me I ain't got good reason. No, you have a good... No, we understand your reason, but it's people out there unlike yourself that don't have an educated view on why they don't like her. They just don't like her because they was like, oh, I don't want that black motherfucker, so motherfucking bitch, this, that, and that's third, not, And right? that's the uneducated view you're talking about, exactly, dog. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So people, I don't, just, because, just because she was a prosecutor don't make her a bad person. Don't mean yeah. that she's a capable yeah. person. Now, I did not know about the the whole thing with Sweet Dick Willie Brown um, <laughs> and then her in a position yeah. to do her thing. Yeah. You know, I, didn't know, I didn't know about that. Thanks, Ms. Purvis. We appreciate that. Yes. <laughs> we love getting the info. The saucy stuff. That was her stuff. mentor. So Michelle was Barack's mentor. Oh, listen. Wait a minute. But Willie ain't married to her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Don't right. try that. Nah, you can't get right. that one over in here. That's you right. Keep, you keep Willie Dick game over there away from uh, Barack Dick game, okay? That was funny. Michelle didn't have to be the vice president. We know he went to her and got advice. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> so, like, like, like as Purvis was saying earlier, she, as a prosecutor, she was just doing her damn job. She's supposed to put people in jail. Yeah. Does that make you feel better, Rex? No, no, it doesn't. Because yeah, you, you can't, you can't delay better. people from getting out and stuff like that. You can't just, uh, like I but said, was man, it really like, her though that delayed it? The deal, then I have something different to say. But was it like, was her whole law firm? It wasn't just her. Right. It was she, other she, lawyers she, underneath she, her. From what I understand, uh, exactly, she, lawyers underneath her. So that that's just like college football when yeah, when we but, talk about athletes doing something and they be like. Well, the coach had to know. The coach had to know. She knew about it. She may have been aware of it, but she didn't. She may not have had a hand to play in the actual um, what actually happened. You know what I mean? So while, you're saying she, that it was the hiding of the wait, 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 wait. While she may be ultimately responsible, she wasn't the person that actually carried out the action. You know what I mean? As the head of, of the head of anything, you ultimately have to take that responsibility. But that don't mean you did that. You did that action. So you yeah, said somebody took it right up under her nose and went ahead and did the thing. That what you're saying? Yeah, yeah no. Yeah, I'm like the intent. It wasn't her intention. It's her it her team, intention. It's not, something okay. that happened under her watch. So she had a rat in her camp. No, no, no. No, she like, had a person who was willing to do whatever it took to win, who was trying to make their career up underneath her. Oh, kind of yeah. like the... And since like she the, was uh, involved, the, the, she's supposed to handle it. Kind of like the prosecutors in the OJ case, that one lawyer that messed up everything for him. Yeah, <laughs> the black dude. Yeah, Darden. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I'm gonna go out here. Yeah, I got it. Fine. I got it. If it doesn't fit. You must have quit. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you he know, missed that all. Uh, yes, but, but so some people need to hear the whole story. Um, and it'll be interesting to see what she has to say. I'm not gonna make any swift judgments until after I hear the whole story. Um, because she's gonna have to answer. Oh yeah. So Several let times. me ask y'all this: What if something comes out bad about her in this whole running for campaign, and it's proven to be true, and that her actions were just horrible? Are you going to change your vote, or are you still going to stay? Is get Trump out of office? Anything possible by any means necessary? Well, I, look at what's happening now. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'll like, take my chance. I, just, I just don't want what we got. Anything exactly. We understand her answer just like everybody else. Yeah, yeah. Get that asshole out of there by yeah. any means necessary. Exactly. Because I'm still I'm mad like at Joe for his, I don't care. you ain't black yeah. uh, coming. Huh? I'm still mad at Joe for his, you know, the you ain't black coming. See, he was hanging around Barack and Michelle too much, slipping up the tongue, <laughs> thinking that he had the end. You know, like I he knew how to say George. what's up. Joe didn't mean it the way he said it. He said it wrong. I understand what Joe meant. <laughs> no, you said it. He said it. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 you I, so you understand it. the white man, but you don't understand the black woman? That what you trying to yeah, say? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I didn't say nothing. You I didn't speak on anything corner, Kamala sir. said. I didn't speak on anything she said. All I said was, I kind of understand what Joe was saying. Joe said that if you don't, black, if you don't vote for me, you're not black. That's yeah, right. And my, and my partner... I already said the reason why he don't <laughs> like Kamala, which is a legitimate reason, because there's a lot of black men in prison right now. And he feels like this. He could have did more to prevent it. But y'all get off my partner for what he's doing. All right, get off my <laughs> partner. All right, get right, him off. Get right. off. Back, 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 back. Of everything yeah, comes out of me, oh, I would oh, change oh, how I feel God, about her, but I was still on her. You know what? I got another viewpoint of this. Why a black woman got to run up under a white man? Because this is America. Uh oh, uh oh, you about to start some stuff now, Hannibal? Why? <laughs> you, this is America. We got we got enough this time for this one. This show, right, Jeff? We got yeah, enough I'm time. I'm just saying, why 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 she got to <laughs> run up under a, a, a white man to get the recognition that black women deserve already well, for the like idea? Said earlier, only two percent kid for her to be. Yeah, like, when Hillary got to run straight up. Yeah. Only two. That's what I'm. That's what I'm trying to say. Maybe Hillary, that's why he's oh, doing oh, it. To bring oh, to oh, oh, Lucifer Hillary over there stealing other children from uh the Haitian from Haiti. I tell, um, you, I tell you one thing though, ain't nothing like a black woman to get a house in order. Black women to come into the whole motherfucking place in order. Everybody, Amen. sit your ass down. Get to, get that's off right. of that. Get get in the corner. Clean that room. I said what I said, right? Mm. Hey, and that's, that's what it. You need. you need a black woman to come in and clean up all the mess. So I'm for well, we, we black people been cleaning up America since so, it was so they want her to be the cleanup one. Shut oh up. yes. <laughs> I'm just saying that's that's, that's a that's fucked up that's label that's to paint her ass that's, down. That's, you know what I'm saying? I say that. that. <laughs> you said that. Yeah, you I said that, that Hannibal. We can't we can't co sign on that one now. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm saying y'all agree and I'm talking about something. I'm just feeling that. that that ain't how I feel. You know, okay, since y'all talking like that or whatever, as far as women, black women straightening out the house. Now, who really seemed like they were straightening out the house? Kamala Harris or Stacey Abrams? Stacey Abrams seemed like she was straight. There you go. There you go. But, yeah, but, but, but Stacey, 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 Stacey no, Abrams. Actually, I think she's a community mama. That's why she got to stay in the house, dog. I feel like she's she more cordial than Kamala. Yeah, she don't Kamala have international games. Yeah, it is. Kamala oh, yeah. has local games, <laughs> local power. She, Kamala has international influence and recognition. Oh. I think Kamala I know about that. I think y'all, I think y'all bugging her up a little bit too much because ain't nobody really know about Kamala Harris really like that until she started trying to run for president. I be I'm, be honest, no, I didn't. I didn't know that nothing really much about her. I mean, maybe I. Well, heard... I've been right here in California the whole time, so she knew about her already. So yeah, yeah, cool. yeah. she got she get first dibs. She right out there. I mean. <laughs> Yeah, I she mean, got voted in, and yeah, you've been paying attention for a long her way time. To the top. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, well, let me ask you this, Miss Purvis: Are you um, privy to all of the good things that she really has done for the state of California? Yeah, please, please list those for us. Okay. Well, hold on. Let me get my phone. Uh oh, my battery. My battery is low. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Uh -oh, uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Here we go. Here we go. We barely use this thing today. This Zoom took like a lot of your battery. See what I mean? As soon as we ask for the good stuff, all oh, the battery. Hold on. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Stop getting on my nerves so I can concentrate. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I got to get oh, my shit. charger. Get on the nerves now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Work <laughs> just down. Just a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> Do you yes, know it's 100 the the day. degrees out here? It is 100 something degrees out here, okay? Yeah, that's what Kamala was saying when she was going to uh, church. Uh, not church, <laughs> but to the uh, precinct. Are you going to jail today? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Let me see if I can find the window. That sounds straight up like her, too. I mean, but it is what it is. Hopefully, we will win in November. 
You know, I mean, I just got my, I kind of got my doubts. I, I did it doubt. huh? Why? You think they're gonna, well, there's, why can't anyone stop him? He's blatantly interfering, which is another against the law thing. Exactly. And that's why I think, they're gonna find a real way to just legitimately cheat. You already know that. Well, he's and, telling you what he, well, he's probably. Yeah. He he he's already trying to prove. Look how Talk he did over here. So he's not a, a U.S. citizen. They need to uh need the freaking um all that birth birth, birth certificate. Yeah. And look how that turned out. Nobody never talked about that. And how oh, he, now they they want to do her like that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the um the the White House has already confirmed that she is eligible to be VP and President of Mississippi. Uh, exactly. Yeah, Which is so. crazy. Why? Why? And that's, and that's another thing. Why does a black woman have to go through okay. all that? But but doggone racist Hillary, I mean uh child stiller, I mean um uh Miss Clinton, <laughs> um she was out there, she was able to run with no problem with no uh yeah, they did the same thing to Obama. Them. It's just black. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They did the same thing to Obama. They 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 was out there half breeding this, that, and the third and all that shit. I was like, damn, y'all talk about a man like that. They don't want yeah, this, they don't want that fair skin in charge, man. They don't want that shit in charge. No, you know that, man. You know that. Man, he uh, he went the fire all the way through the White House, though. Got some info for us, Miss Purpose. Yeah, so okay, she had a hundred billion dollar grant for black home ownership, um, and she also uh, created a first time drug offender chance to earn a high school um, diploma program. Um, when Joe and her were running against things, he tried to say that she was against integrating on the bus. But there's another reason behind that that I'm not going to get into. But um, we need to know that. Yeah, we need to know that. Yeah, we need to know that. We need to know that. Oh, about the integration? Yeah. yeah. I don't, I, I didn't okay. hear that. Yeah, you can't be bringing up new information. Yeah, because that's, a, yeah, that's new some new stuff right there. Not, not, not new, but uh, unresearched information. And then yeah, because I know they ain't talking about Rosa Parks. This got to be something recent. Okay, hold on. I'm trying to do the juicy part. Uh, she's 55. Oh, yeah. Look she at that little Asian. I tell you that. Shit. Yeah. yeah. She look good. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute, hold up now. She don't she don't dig brothers though. She don't dig brothers. Hey, oh yeah, that's another thing that people don't like either. Yeah. She's mixed race. You know, yeah, she's mixed race. That's why I don't I don't see the cash bail and death. Mixed ethnicities. I don't like creating a police system review board. So she is doing things like she's they said she called for um ending mass incarceration, cash bail, and death penalty, creating a national police system review board. Oh, that's recently. Oh, yeah. Hey, that, that um, creating Wait a minute, national police up. review board, that's kind of like the situation we were talking about in Charleston here, guys. With Wait a minute, uh, hold up. I still, I still want to know about this bus um, segregation thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to get there. Yeah, I, ain't, I never heard about that one. So, no, is, is she saying okay. that it's better if we had our own bus system? The Democratic to primarily debates. Ms. Harris confronted Mr. Biden on his fine recollections of working with segregationists in the Senate and then opened up about her personal history and school busing. Ooh, oh, okay. God, why did... Oh, God. Okay, there it goes. School busing. Um, Pop-ups? Why? Oh. <laughs> They're trying to ask for money. Damn it. Don't give him nothing. Don't give him nothing. <laughs> all him up, now I got to go back and find my spot. <laughs> Don't worry about it. We, we got yeah, it. It's all good. We got but it. anyway, you see some of the things that she's doing and working on, but she she had a problem on the bus and she was trying to let him know. They said when, when, there's a little girl in California who was part of the second class to integrate her public schools and she was bused to school every day. And that little girl was me. That was Kamala joined in third year of integration. Oh, oh I see. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now I see how she connected to that. Okay. She has spoken out strongly about <laughs> the injustice faced by Black people in the United States. She introduced police accountability legislation known as the Justice and Policing Act earlier this summer. Inspired with, oh, Rand Paul. Ugh. 
and yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's a guy that you can't trust and and um after he blocked the bill that would have made lynching a federal crime yep well that's and, good uh, yeah so she's so that uh, answers a little bit of y'all's questions what she okay doing. she's doing some she's doing some good stuff out there well, thank yeah. you for sharing that. I think there's redemption for everybody, but this fool don't care. They was telling him, well, 10,000 people died this week or whatever. He was like, did you see my crowds? I thought, <laughs> I thought you was calling Rick for food. <laughs> <laughs> it's like food. <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> I was like, damn. <laughs> no, no, hey, I was paying close attention to that conversation. <laughs> oh, man. Please That's believe. narcissist right there. <laughs> Yes, thank you for that information, Ms. Purvis. Like Hannibal said, appreciate that. Yeah, so she's been discriminated against um, on her own, you know. So she okay. knows. So sometimes you got to bite the bullet for your people to get to where you can make a change. Like Kind of like what Jay-Z said when everybody got mad at him for, um, for working with the Super Bowl with Kaepernick. <clears throat> <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, 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 that's a sore subject, Ms. Purvis. You can't bring that up, right? Because we still upset. Well, I'm still upset with Jay-Z about that. I really am. Did you am. hear what he said, though? Yes, I did. He said he told a room full of white people that black folks have a problem with the police because we raised in single-parent homes. Hmm. Well, that, that is part of the problem. I don't have no role that models. Was not the, that is not part of the problem of why we have problems with the police. That has nothing to do with it at all. Nothing. Well, Jesus, in a way, Jesus never you, opened his mouth like that. It, you say it, it kind of does have a way it's because a whole combination. look at how they've been trying to control our race. Look at how they've been trying to take us away from the family and create the single parent home. Maybe he was speaking to that point. It has oh, from Willie the, Lynch theory. It starts with Willie Lynch theory. It starts. Okay, it has. So it's an ingredient. It's an ingredient to the problem, but it's not the only. Yeah, that's what I said. It's a combination. Yeah. How is it? How is it at all? So because a child is raised in a single parent home, that's the reason why he has problem with the cops. But no. no. Well, it's the system that has been designed. The mama didn't know how to sit up there and tell her son. We went over this in my church. Okay. And mm -hmm. Barbara Lee is a member of my church. So when all this stuff started happening, hands up, don't shoot. You know, she got up there and she spoke. And my pastor spoke too. Um, their emeritus, you know, he retired, but his son took over, whatever. And they did this whole thing where they had five generations of black males on the stage. And then they had like a candle or something that one was supposed to hand to each other and tell them something of value. Mm hmm and that showed us these mothers didn't have that tool to give to the son. They doubt their mom when their mom said, don't go out there and, and, and let the police say, put your hands on the steering wheel. But if their daddy or their uncle said it and gave them that tool and that knowledge, they have more confidence going out there using it in that way. But that's my <laughs> whole point because, yeah, yeah, but that's my whole point because as black as a black father, we should not have to do that. That's my whole point. That's my whole point. It's not. It doesn't start with the kid in the single parent home. It starts oh, with the responsibility. No, I think that's. I think it starts that's what with, the was it starts yeah, with think the racist police. It starts with the racist police. Yeah, so and so he and so to do that. That was their point. Yeah, but even but like I said, that statement that he made, and I didn't heard that statement before. It's a reckless irresponsible statement because it gives credence to white people to say that yeah they are a part of the problem and that's why they get killed and beat up by police and that's not but i'm the sure truth. that's not the only statement because things can be taken out of context i heard him say that they have a video with him saying that but no, is that well, the I'm... only thing he said is the only reason yeah i mean that ain't the only thing but my point is he should have that should have never came out of his mouth not as a black dude who grew up in a single parent home he should know better that's no, irresponsible. Well, I'm saying that maybe people. the thing he was adding it to was he was adding it to the the context of everything and just pointing out how the mother, the single parent mother, is now scared to tell her son this, this, and that, and the third. She's raising him now to fear because now the system has created this. Uh, That's my point. The confidence. Home. The confidence. The tool would have came from a man 
and the mom is teaching them out of fear instead of the confidence and it's so crazy because we even have a theory about why there's so many fluid male and females in this next two generations sexually fluid because of that I don't because of mixed messages when they were brought up they want to be treated like their mom or you know the other paradigm that they were missing so yeah we have a lot of things that come out of that well um <clears throat> Uh, as far as that goes, because I, I don't want to drag on about the, the whole GC thing and single parent stuff. Yeah, we did get sidetracked on. We got sidetracked. <laughs> my point was, he said, you got to get in in order to make change. Oh, I see you saying. You got to get in. Get your yeah, that was my point about Kamala taking a bullet and doing some things that might not have been the best ethically looking to us, but it might have been part of the equation. Yeah, I mean, when you're the first person through the door, man, sometimes you got to take a couple shots. That's, that's yes, that's my point. That's just what and that's why I want to see what she has to say when she's put on the spot, not once, but several times. And, and like see, how how consistent, how, see how consistent her answers are. Like you were saying and earlier. And her rhetoric before. behind it. Uh, nobody, before I condemn her. Nobody's perfect, man. No, nobody's walking this earth is perfect. Everybody got mistakes that they got on their record that they did. Some shit. That's what makes you your mistakes. And, and I don't think uh, I think um, I don't think she has more mistakes than she has uh, accomplishments as far as from my perspective. I, I could be wrong, but from my yeah, you guys didn't even know about half of the stuff that I read just today because it's all drowned in these. You know, it's Russian bots out here sharing a lot of this propaganda, like um, some yeah. of that that meme that they have of how many men she um, put in jail. They fact check that that's not accurate and all of that, um, but they keep circulating that. And they said that comes from Russia. You know, that's just propaganda that's being spewed. And it keeps being rhetorically put and stained in the brain. They know what they're doing. Yeah. Um, you know, but at you the end of the day- bury all the good stuff. At the end of the day, I think we all want the same thing. Um, the, the we Trump want Trump gone. Of office. Yeah. <laughs> I cheat you know. Yeah. At the and end I think, oh, this is the thing. Everybody's saying, oh, he's disenfranchising voters and removing, um, and him and his wife are voting by ballot, uh, mail-in ballot. But also, he's removing his votes. That's true. The same people got to, this old old white people who going to vote for him got to use the mail-in system, too. Actually, he pushed. So he's hurting voting, himself, um, too. When he was running uh, four years ago, he was pushing for mail-in voting. He was pushing for that. Now, all of a sudden, he don't want mm -hmm. it. You know, he, man, we already know how the voting, uh, uh, how it goes at the voting booth. That they try to use that as a tool to stop black voters from coming out. They try to do anything they can to to stop us from showing up at the polls because they don't want to go us, want us to go against him. They already know what's going to happen when we show up. When we stuff. show up, we usually show out. So you know, what I'm saying, and, and that was just at the state level because they know that's where more people, more black people, are starting to understand. Hey, you got to vote. At, uh, at these uh, every two years well whenever something comes out you got somebody running in your city that's how you make change and also that's how you make a change in uh, up down Capitol Hill you put the right people in the house that's how you get a house power and you don't run up in it you don't run into a position like it was with Obama you know what I'm saying like when you got the house divided and it's majority Democrat but the house divided because Democrats don't want to work with the media that's true well yeah, the other thing is I spent two days going back and forth with one of my classmates and he takes this Malcolm X thing, you know, you, he didn't believe in voting and he believed in collecting the people and taking your money together and not giving them the power. I said, that's fine if we had a Malcolm now, we don't. So mm. your argument ain't doing nothing but dividing us. We sure I said, don't. I said, so until you show me where they doing that at, <laughs> I'm mm -hmm. voting. Okay. They killed Malcolm because he was evolving. That's right. why I he said, had... so how far did that get him? How far did that get him? Not voting and, and doing everything. No, nah, they killed up... him because he, he was evolving. He had already seen the light that his earlier message yeah. was, not the, was not totally the right way to go into things. They killed him because he had been seen and he had and talked he had to the power. He, he had, had the talked power. to Martin. And he knew how to display his power in a way that yes. Martin didn't know how to display his power. So they had to get Malcolm out of there because he was going to be very influential, very, very influential um, to the present day. 
which he still is, but not his not his full message. All right. Um. So uh, after everything we've said as far as politics goes, anybody want to add anything else as far as uh, Kamala being the VP pick for Biden? Yeah, we got. <laughs> we all we got. <laughs> yeah, we all. Yeah, I can't lie. I gotta agree. We all we got. CMB. No, Miss Purvis. I want to ask you. We are going to move on to some other topics. Do you want to stay in for those, or are you good? Um, I probably got to call my big sister back in Maryland because of time difference. Okay. Ooh, well, all right, we understand. We really we understand. appreciate you joining in today and um uh, for your input. But I definitely want to try to put a sweet note in um our men's ear. Okay. What you got? What's As you women of uh, you know, some type of knowledge and understanding of political science and things like that. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Yeah. No, that's what why I was here today. Oh, oh, yeah. Well, we, yeah. we we did that because um, I mean, you gave us some insight on things we weren't uh, aware of or privy to. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Willie Brown, we ain't know nothing about that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Willie Brown, we know, we know now. Though, yeah, <laughs> some good, some good positive accomplishments that um come out. Uh, Kamala, <laughs> go ahead. Kamala. Yeah. I, knew, I knew he was gonna do it. Kamala, I knew Kamala, you know, different ways of saying it. But yeah, I yeah, wanted I, to, and I if want, I can I do that every day, I will. I, I want I wanted to really hear what uh, the some of the positive things instead of all the negativity people are putting mm -hmm. out there. Um, so I appreciate that. We really do thank you for joining Primarily Speaking and have, giving us your take on it. Um, thank you for having me, and I'm glad you guys listened. And I enjoyed your point of view as well. We appreciate you. So um, if you ever want to get on and, um, and say your piece again, just let us know, man. We welcome you back to the show. Okay. All right. Have a good weekend. Hey, Ms. Bur and Ms. Purvis, make sure you make sure you tell your sister you got your butt whipped on primarily speaking. Make sure you tell I her. I get that. my butt whipped. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna bring her on. Ooh, Lord. Oh, uh -oh. y'all can bring we can do it there. That's right. The more the veteran. Tag yeah. is a veteran and a positive. Oh, no. What branch what branch of service All right. you serve in? That's what we like uh, Air Force. Boo! My brother's in the Air Force now, Hannibal. Stop that. Hey. <laughs> what are you? Navy. Oh, he, Navy. Huh? Navy vet. Navy? Navy vet. Navy, yeah. That's Navy. how I got out here. I was a Navy brat. See? Yeah. See, you, yeah, we, we can tell that. someone in the wait. military, and yeah, he moved us out to Cali. Yeah. yeah. We can, we can tell you so rolling in the service. It's so that your sister went into the Chair Force. Oh, yeah. what? The Chair what? Force. The tear force. <laughs> the tear force. Oh, she yeah, don't tear you. Yeah, y'all yeah, have yeah. another. I'll talk to trash and tell her if she ever want to bring it, she want to smoke. Tell her Hannibal Venable want all the smoke. Okay. Oh so, yeah, so. we could do it next Sunday. Okay. All right. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Her Zoom and she will bring it. I'll bet. It's a rematch. And I can right post now. some of her videos that she's talking on. Uh oh. See oh see her bring it. Let's go. Yeah, she is very, very. Yeah. Passionate about politics. That might be a good one, Bella. That might be a good one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She's right. over, over educated. Lord, she got like a double master's. And I'm like, why did you do that? Anyway, you just <laughs> you know that primary <laughs> undergraduate will be recording versus... next Sunday so around two two thirty p.m. Eastern time. Oh, she could fill you in on the rest of the in between the blanks of Kamala and why Biden chose her, what the whole strategy is, everything. More insight? That's what I like. I like that. Hey, definitely like tell her to come through. Yes, sir. Yeah, shoot, shoot I'm her. I'm gonna my call way. her now. Shoot her my way, and um, and I'll be like, "Oh, you should have called me." Shoot her my way, and I'll <laughs> definitely get in touch, and we try to make something happen. Okay. Appreciate you, Miss Purvis. Thank you. All right, y'all have a good one. And have All a right, good you Sunday, y'all. It was fun. Bye. Bye, bye. All right. That was good, fellas. That was good. That's our first um, guest that we had that uh, Rich. Well, I didn't know her. Rich. 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 Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, another victory. Appreciate that, Riggs. <laughs> I appreciate that. All right. So now y'all both want to jump back to sports real quick. You know, we, we still got a couple things left. We don't have to go through them all. but Okay. Let's do nah, it. Uh, man, we, we already said we got to say about the NBA, right? I think about Jerry Jones um, wanting um, uh, the play in front of the uh, uh, fans. 
Jerry Jones is a buster. He's he been a buster for the longest time. I mean, get him well, out of here. Still gotta, yeah, get him out of here. Why we still got to deal with Jerry Jones, man? I like, he ain't died yet. He been like eight years. Yeah. Years. I didn't want to be the first one to see it, probably. Hey, but he maybe maybe he be drinking the blood. <laughs> drinking the blood. Drinking the blood. I'm like, why is he still alive? This nigga been 80 for the past 20 years. God right. God. Exactly. So I mean, gee, whoa, man, we got to get rid of. Got to get rid of that. That's just dumb, man. I, I don't like. I don't um, like that shit at all. I actually got another thing, my list later. Yeah, another thing in sports. Uh, you got your NCAA football. Three conferences look like they're gonna uh, keep pushing forward. The ACC, the SEC, and the Big Twelve. And the thing about those conferences, they are all in the South. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. SEC, mm-hmm. man, the best conference there is to play in. When it comes to college football, there is no better conference. Pretty much. Oh, you oh man, Hannibal, you know that. Hannibal, no, 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 no. Hannibal's no, supposed to be a part of the SEC, dog, and for whatever reason, he's a Florida State fan. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, you're a Florida State fan. Hey, 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 hey. Listen, listen. If it wasn't for Clemson, y'all that fucking, that y'all, y'all yeah, conference would be uh, shit. Man, yeah, fuck that. that Georgia ain't won shit since 1980. I don't give a fuck they about their recent success. They ain't brought no damn championships. <laughs> uh, Florida, I hate to give them props, but them, them fucking gay turds been, they've been, they been doing their thing, you know what I'm saying? Especially the whole little Tebow era, and it looks like they're trying to climb back. They, they're probably a quarterback away. They need to go ahead and start Emory Jones. Uh, that's the brother down there who's got the speed. He's got the arm. He can go ahead and put the man in a position to win. Uh, you know, South Carolina is going to have the defense, but as far as, as, shit. Uh, as, as far as like the, shit, as, when you think SEC, the only thing that really makes the SEC really pop and stand out is Alabama. What? LSU? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, Hannibal, you know better than that. Georgia, Georgia. I knew I was waiting on you to say LSU. I already told you my facts on Georgia. And yeah, I'm from Georgia, but they ain't won shit since 1980. Herschel <laughs> Walker, that played in, the, he did played in the USFL, the NFL. He might not got, win a title, he, but he's been, he been, he been a part of the tough. been a part of the dumbest trade in NFL history. Uh, well, he ain't had nothing to do with that now. I mean, Jimmy Johnson was a boy pants no, 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 no. no, I ain't getting on. I ain't getting on him for that. I'm just saying his name been the big name. They got Dallas where they are today. So uh, that's how they got the five championships when they got. Them. But uh, my thing is Alabama, LSU just won. You weren't saying shit about LSU the previous year. Who, you know what I'm saying? You got my Rex. Neither one of y'all. Y'all was saying shit. Oh, about you ain't talking about me, dog. No, 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 no. You need to get that straight, dog. LSU been good for a long time. I'm Ooh. talking about you saying well, since, Alabama. Since Ryan Paraloo, since Ryan Paraloo been there, and they um they brought your boy the fat dude in. Yeah, LSU been good for a long time. So that foolishness they, they, you they talking been, about? They've been decent. They finally so, put no, it all no, together. not they, decent. Oh, they boy been in the national been championship because the year picture, before, dog. the year before so, with Joe Burrow, their record wasn't that good, brother. I ain't talking about just recently. I talk about for years, for decades. Been good. Saying, good. Alabama is the marquee name. No, it's That's not. It. It's not the Alabama just get back on track SEC. once Nick Saban get no, no, back no, no, in. No. Yeah, and that's been a long. That's been over ten years, brother. Yeah, that's but I mean, if you, come but on, the man, SEC Hamble. been running things in hey, the, in football hey, for hey, the longer I'm time. Just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Hannibal saying. is a hater. Don't listen to <laughs> nothing he says, bro. He's a hater, bro. Yeah, he's a hater. Yeah, he's a no hater. way you gonna say Alabama's the only notable team of the SEC. I ain't say that was the only. They the biggest name, and they brought more because they won the most. They trash. brought. They brought. They brought more back up to the the the, the analogy that the SEC is, is the is the best because you know when LSU couldn't do it. It was just Florida and Alabama. That's it. Because you know Florida. the SEC. See, you, you know the SEC championships. You want to talk about winning the championships. You, yeah. hey, you, know you know the SEC West is weak as fuck. You, no, no, you you talking about championships. I mean, East, when it comes when SEC. it comes to the top ten, it comes to the top ten. The SEC. That's that's bullshit voting. That's other? bullshit. That's bullshit voting because y'all have teams in the top ten that don't even supposed to be in that motherfucker. Like who? Like who? Man, ain't no motherfucking way in the hell. That year that Florida had what three losses, and uh, Mo, matter of fact, Auburn had what three losses, 
they were ranked in the top ten, and UCF was ranked like number seventeen. Oh, who did UCF? UCF? You need to whoa, stop. Whoa, 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 whoa. UCF beat them that year oh, in that bowl game. No, no, no. I'm talking about of them beating. The SC. I'm talking about who they played. Oh, even if they didn't have as many losses, who they beat to deserve for them to be in the top ten? They beat Auburn. One team. That's they the only Auburn. team they land. Just one. They team? was ranked higher than them. And that 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 means they mean they was right higher than the them. top ten because they beat one. Hey, one SEC do get do, SEC do get the priv, uh get the privy of uh, the coat uh, the, the, the 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 uh ranking privilege. Yes, they do. They do get that privy to the ranking privilege. Privy. They yeah. earn them spots, brother. They, they, they earn, earn all that shit. They earn they that. Earn they earn them spots. Sorry ass SEC team. I'm about teams being good. <laughs> I'm about. It been some sorry ass SEC teams ranked in the top ten. They ain't had no fucking business being there. You gotta find yes. that. You gotta find hey, that. Hey, hey, it's, it's Such as now, I hey Alabama when they good. Goddamn it, they good. They've been the best goddamn team in the SEC. You you For need long a team that don't time. deserve to be in the Matter top ten. They the best team to come out of the SEC. Who don't deserve to be in the top ten out the SEC? You ain't named. Like that year, y'all was ranked in the top ten. Y'all ain't had no business being up there. Who? That year we played. We was in the top ten. We was beating ass that year. Yeah, y'all lost to us in the bowl game. Yeah, I know. But we still was beating ass that year. Mm -hmm. And we played tough teams. We ain't play all the little shitty little whatever teams y'all been playing. We don't play no little (laughs) shitty teams. We'll yeah, play Florida State teams. play a lot of shitty teams. You know that. They yeah. play a lot of what shitty, shitty teams, teams though. Play? Them boys, them boys, them boys, them boys schedule like, line like, up with top kids. We be the SEC, SEC team to win the championship, right? When? Our last championship. When was that? Y'all last national championship? Y'all be the <laughs> when SEC was that? team? <laughs> when was that? Yep. <laughs> How long ago that, that been? No, my bad. What decade was that? Oh, y'all trying to play y'all stuff, huh? <laughs> No, you trying to play yourself because Florida State ain't win nothing in a long time, though. A long Describe time. a long time. Describe a long time. More than 10 years. When the last time Florida State won something? You say more than 10 years, Brian? Yeah. That's like, that's why you don't talk about sports now. You don't know shit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> y'all, did y'all win a championship in the last 10 years? No. Did? Yes, no. we did. Well, no, you we won't won with no, We ain't talking Winston, basketball. We talking football. James Winston. That been what? Oh, yeah, that was 2010, huh? No, what, what the fuck? Jimmy Winston won that Florida State in 2010. That when Jimbo first, that, that, that's around the time when Jimbo Fisher just been getting everything. Turned I, around. No, that would have been. Matter of fact, that's the that, year we you know what that been, that's the year y'all had the good ass team. 2013. Yeah, even 2013 to 2014. That's what you're talking about. When they, yeah, when they won with Jimmy. So they're about six you years. He's been in the league about six years. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. All right. I give you. All right, motherfucker. I give. Don't you. give them nothing. They're still sorry. They're still sorry. <laughs> hey, Wide the right. ACC, the Wide ACC right. Is is. Hey man. Hey man. When Miami get good again. Here we go. You Here can we talk go. That shit. You can never <laughs> listen. It don't matter how long my hurricane's down. You as a Florida State fan can never say nothing about them, dog. <laughs> can never. Exactly. Hey, you when, we beat time, y'all, when we beat y'all, when we beat y'all, what that overall record is, is, what that overall record looking like, that's what man, I'm talking about, Captain. Goddamn, man. Excuse me? Excuse 65 me? 65 to 60. 65 to 60. <laughs> he said that fast, wasn't it? 65 to 60. All right, y'all, boy. That's not what I'm Hey, at least. We're going to build this shit on damn thing. Hey, at least. Well, you already know. At least they didn't do us like Florida. Florida started playing us right when we became. Uh, 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 you know, an integrated college when they had males start coming, we got a football team. Florida used to beat Florida State 60 something to seven. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they used to run to school, yeah, because it used to be they, 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 Florida State used to be an all women's college. We got to keep it moving, Phil. We got to keep it moving. We, um, we done been going almost, um, well, well, two hours already. So sit your ass down, huh? Um, I knew you, Jimmy. Yeah, yeah. Let's jump, let's jump in and sit your ass down, fellas. Let's jump in and sit your ass down. We ain't even get to some of our community topics, but we'll do that next time. Um, Hannibal, who you got for sit your ass down? Y'all ready? I'm ready. Oh, yeah. All right. So, first of all, I want to tell TIP Clifford Tip Harris. Georgia natives, I'm serious. Uh, you know, platinum selling artists, sit your ass down. And I'm telling T.I. I didn't. Huh? He said it, I didn't. Yeah, I'm, I'm <laughs> still gonna tell him this. I just wanna put As that a Georgia out. native, I deserve to tell this young man to sit his ass down. Okay. But one, uh, his views on what his country. Uh, he had an interview 
on uh, expeditiously with Fabulous. Fabulous. And uh, they were talking about Southern and being country. Now, remind you, Pimp C says it's country rap tunes. And that's just the beat it's always going to be, baby. When you're coming from the South and you got some of the spit, it's Southern rap tunes. So T.I. says he feels that when people from New York called him country, that he isn't country, he's Southern. And he says because Southern is more upscale. He's just Southern, but he's smart and he's witty. He says people that are country are dumb and they're slow. He I said people dumb. from the southern part of Georgia are country, which is idolizing, which in word, you know, in turn, he's saying they're dumb or slow. No, no. One thing I'm going to correct you there. He didn't say that country people. He said that connotation is that people that are country. Okay, so, all right. The connotation is that country people are dumb or slow. So he said people. No, 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 no. no. I'm going to get, I'm going to get. He said people from Atlanta are southern. He said people from Valdosta are country. So right. in turn, he'll calling those people dumb and slow, right? No, no, no. Well, well, I, I see what I see what you're saying. I see what you're connecting. <laughs> so he, he calling people saying, dumb and slow, right? Based on, based on what other people are saying, he calling them country. But I think what he was saying was that Valdova or whatever the fuck the place's name is. Hey, hey, is, don't disrespect. Not... That's the most that's the most famous <laughs> high school football city in the nation, dog. But uh... but what I'm saying is the place is not city like. It's country like as far he as he wasn't referring to the city, he was calling the people of the city dumb and slow. You sure about that? If, oh, if, if, some, if somebody else gives the connotation that the word country is dumb or slow, and he says, I'm not country, people from Valdosta are country. So he is he is calling those people dumb and slow. Because when people say South Carolina country, I'd be like, Well, Charleston ain't country. You know right. what I mean? But if you go out to Walterboro, that's country. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah, not. Country. See, you're thinking about Walterboro's scenery. Country. You're huh? thinking about scenery and all that other stuff. I it, get what you're saying. Yeah. That's how I look at the uh, the meaning of the country. Because when it was first brought to me, before I looked at the interview and listened <laughs> to what he said, you know, I said I was like, "Bad out still is country, motherfucker. We we some country ass motherfuckers." You know what I'm saying? For now and then. But I'm not dumb, nor am I slow. I don't know. You know, what I'm saying I don't know if y'all watch. You know, primarily speaking, and have had a chance to listen to what Hannibal Vanderbilt well, has to say. Then some might, some might come to the fact that you might be slow, slow. <laughs> a little slow. They, you know what I'm saying? And they can tell, you know what I can tell them? They can kiss my whole natural back. Okay? I know you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because if you think I'm dumb or slow, you know something the fuck wrong with you. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you can sit your ass down. You, you all right? just said wide open to that, man. You, uh, hey, <laughs> that's all right, though. Yeah, he but just said that one up. He just said that one up. Even, that one. even bigger than T.I., what he said. You know what I'm saying? Because I can forgive him what he said, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm not going to hang him. But this week, he got to sit his ass down. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna rain right. you sit your ass down. I ain't gonna rain on that. All right, all right. But the one person, one other person I want to tell, sit down. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the group Phil Mob. Um, one half of the group, Sean J, who went out and uh, I don't know what the fuck. Uh, I know why they did it, but they did ludicrous, but over some money uh, situations with mm -hmm. the song Georgia. But Smoke, the dark skinned fella from Phil Mob, he came out and he called T.I. out. For calling the southern hymns on the, the southern side of Georgia country. Uh, my only problem with this situation is this nigga did not call, uh, he did not call T.I. out on a platform where he knew T.I. could get this information. Now, I went and double checked this nigga Instagram page. This nigga did not put anything on his Instagram page that he put on <laughs> Facebook calling T.I. out. And that for that nigga is flammed. And that nigga is off his fucking rocker. And plus this fucking dingling is a fucking Trump supporter. And, and I'm not going to tell this motherfucker, smoke from Field Mob, Darren Crawford, he needs to go ahead and sit his ass down. And you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Holy government then, too. Because um, T.I., you say T.I. does not have Facebook, right? Yeah, yeah. No, he don't use Facebook. Right, he use right, Instagram. Right. You know what I'm saying? If you want to get that message to T.I., you're a rapper or whatever. You're supposed to be this dude. You went to prison and did all this other shit. I'm going to need you to go ahead and put that on Facebook. I mean, not Facebook. I'm going to need you to put it on Instagram, a place where, you know, T.I. is known to be on social media. And go ahead and call him out for what he said so he could correct his tone. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Call him out to his face. Don't get Personally, mad at me. I don't like people. Yeah. If you got a problem with anybody, I don't think social media is the place for you to put anything uh -uh. out there like that. But, right. you know, if, you want, if you're trying to reach somebody, reach them on the platform that they're actually on. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> don't yeah, that's my shit your ass down. That mean you hide. That mean if you gonna put it on some shit that they don't look at, then you just wanna say some shit and they ain't really want to smoke behind it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's yeah. really talking, and he don't want that message really to get back to him. We know what yeah. that is. You, we, you know, yeah. we call that we call that selling wolf tickets. That's what that wolf is. Hell yeah, that's, that's why I called him a dingling. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> a dingling, <laughs> a dick. <laughs> All right, Rex. He ain't even a whole dick. The nigga a dingling, man. Rick. All right, Who you know this, man. Y'all know this. This is my favorite part of the show when we get to tell people to sit their ass down. Now, my list is kind of short this week. I got Louis DJ, the Postmaster General. We all know why he got to sit his ass down. But my special guest today on Sit Your Ass Down is Tucker Carlson. Tucker Carlson not only called President Obama greasy, Whoa. but he's constantly, yeah, yeah, he did that. He did that. He called President Obama a greasy politician. So you just take whatever you want to take out of that when a white dude calling a black dude greasy. Now... <laughs> You call him a greasy monkey. Huh? Yeah, know. pretty much, pretty much. He yeah, still yeah. monkey. He didn't say monkey. He stopped short sure at monkey. He didn't say monkey. So we, oh, know, he called it himself. Like but Grease he needs to sit his ass down for constantly disrespecting Mrs. Kamala Harris. The young lady's name is Kamala, not Kamala, not K Mala, or nothing like that. Or whatever. It it's <laughs> Kamala Harris. Kamala. And Kamala. on that note too. I got to tell T Prime to sit his ass down too because he done been listening to he done listening to Mouse and too. That's right. I had to get him. So he got to sit down. It's unprecedented, Hannibal. The, the host of the show needs to sit his ass. <laughs> I got you. Yeah, he I got like you. Down already, I got you. Yeah, he's sitting down but, too. Hey, that's you see right. What the say? Go sit your ass down. Yeah, so no, awesome. you now, this is, this is unprecedented. This is the first time that we've had somebody tell another member of the show to sit their ass down. What kind of shit is I'm that? I'm I'm president. This is what I'm all about. I like doing things first. All right, so motherfucker. You your days are now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna find a sit your ass down. For you. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> That's all right. I take it. I take it. I couldn't pronounce the shit. God damn. That's right. That's right. Get it right. Hey, in, in his karma. defense, in in Prime's defense, he butchers names on a regular basis. All right. <laughs> so it's, it's nothing. It's nothing against Kamala Harris. All right. <laughs> okay, so I understand, and it really ain't him. He just does it all the time. You can't pronounce it all the time. Shit, you got you got to tell me. You can't just write it down. You got to tell me what it sounds like. You know what I mean? That's what's up. Spell it out phonetically. Well, I would say thank you. For that, that. Why he had to talk right to you down. slow like that? Spell it out phonetically. Y'all boy him. Y'all boy him. <laughs> Normally, I would thank you for that, but I ain't thanking you for that one. So, <laughs> fuck you, man. You'll sit your ass down. That's why. You that's know. what I'm talking about. Boo me. My, Boo me. My sit your ass down is Jerry Jones. Um, right from the south. Ass with all these people. You want to pack your stadium just so you can make some money? I get it. People want to make money. Everybody trying to make money. But putting Pete, putting oh shit, putting asses in the seats. Isn't the only way for you to make some money for the team you own? You know what I'm saying? I don't think that's that's a good move. That's a, that's a terrible move uh, uh, of anything. Um, you should be looking at alternatives, not trying to go back to the way things were. Because right now we are not in how things were. We are we're on a different way of society. So for you to want to have to open up the back up with these pods and all this shit for people to watch the game, sit your ass the fuck down, man. <laughs> Having a good one. Having a good one. I like that. That's a good one. I got to give you that. That's a good Stupid. And being a Dallas Kyle girl hater, we always want Jerry Jones to sit the fuck down anyway. So, like, like this, this nigga's like, he's been 80 forever. What the fuck? Right. No matter. Whatever. All right, fellas. We, this wraps up another episode of Primarily Speaking. This was a show. I Good thought job. we enjoyed this show. This was uh, some good laughs, some good conversation. Yeah. Um, y'all gave me some insight on how to deal with my daughters and dating and shit like that. Gave me some we, that's what we're here for, dog. We drop gems every week. We hey, drop hey, every brother, week, but y'all don't hey, see that. You're stronger than you think you are. Just open up to it. Remember, your word is your bond. So whatever you put out there for, if you tell her to come to you, be able to come to you and talk to you about anything without ridicule, just, you know what I'm saying, just let her know. I'll, I'm going to tell you what I don't like, and I'm going to tell you how I feel about it, but I'm not going to condemn you for your actions. 
Well, my kids already know. You come to me with some shit, you're going to get these jokes, but I'm going to tell you with some real shit, too. I'm going to tell you. You're going to get that. <laughs> That's how I post it. Because if you stu- you did some stupid shit, I'm going to tell you you did some stupid shit. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but, but, yeah, I, I agree with you, though. You know, you got to be real. You got to uh, keep your word with your kids, man. So um, I- I'm very much in tune with that. I also want to thanks um, thank Miss uh, Tiffany Purvis for joining us. And yeah. Her insight as far as uh, Kamala ha- Harris and um, the accomplishments that she's had. And uh, hey, you got him stuttering. You got him stuttering, right? Shut up. Her vote of confidence and her being a <laughs> VP pick. Y'all didn't have much of a debate as I thought that y'all were going to have. Um, but y'all both gave y'all, um, uh, Rex, um, y'all gave y'all opinions as, um, as far as how y'all felt about her. And I'm not, thought that was dope. Yeah, 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 I appreciate it, you know, for her to come on, you know, and take the challenge of the total package. It's all good. You know, she took the L, you know, and we understand that. So we appreciate that for her coming on, giving her insight. You know, we learned a lot of stuff. Much love, much love. So, um, and signing out, fellas, y'all got any last words, any parting words? <clears throat> no? All right. No. <laughs> I have a parting word. Um, and I put this on Facebook earlier. I said that communication is the key, but comprehension of that communication are the ridges on said key, which will allow you to unlock the pathway that allows knowledge to travel between two entities properly. Um, so I want y'all to take that with you and understand that you don't just have to, communication is just talking, but you got to understand what a motherfucker talking about. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, deep deep now. Oh man, he got deep. That's what I'm talking Ooh, don't about. Worse for me. Like the ocean, middle specific, baby. Okay. All right. So this has been primarily speaking. Um, any handles, anything y'all want to give out? Blah blah blah. Hey man, follow your boy on Twitter. That's uh at Black Hero Six Hundred. All right. Follow me on Twitter. Or you can hit me up on Instagram at Black Hero Six Hundred as well. You know what? Right? You know what, Animal? I don't follow you. I'm gonna follow you on Twitter. I've been getting on Twitter recently. Remember when you told me about how you uh, you look at some of the stuff, um, the news and whatever? I've been looking yeah. at some of the categories every once in a while. So I don't really tweet, but I'll get on there. I'm going to follow you and see what you got. What you be talking about on that, though? Oh, Twitter does suck you in, huh? Twitter does suck you in. That's hey, what I'm about. Twitter is actually a way to keep your ear to the streets, brother. Uh, what people, what the masses, what not masses, what some people think about some type of issues. I'm, I, I, I poke at it sometimes. I'm not active, but um, I poke at it sometimes. But, you know, as far as primarily speaking goes, you can catch us on Facebook, uh, on YouTube, and on Instagram. P-R-I-M-E-R-I-L-Y speaking, no spaces, underscores, or dashes. Holla at you, folk, man. Until next time, this has been Primarily Speaking. I am your host with the most. Man with the gas, Mr. Poppin' Two Quarters. Let me get in that ass. Your boy, T-Prime, and Azul to the 25. All right. We about to be out from the total package. Y'all stay chill and do your thing. Hey, man. Coming from the Southern Hemisphere, it's peace out to you, baby. It's Hannibal Vanderbilt. See you next time. DSGB. You already know what it is. Deuces.